Welcome! <laughs> I, don't, I was really struggling for an idea this week. I was looking around desperately like, I need a prop or something. I don't I, have anything. I have these arms. <laughs> have these arms. <laughs> welcome to High Rollers, everyone. Oh. Um, welcome. I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. And welcome back to High Rollers. We're back. Little week. Did we have a week break? We did, didn't we? Because I was away. Yeah. Yeah. I was away being a, a wizardess in a field. Um, but we're back now, and we're here to play some Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm joined by some of, sadly not all, my friends. Let us go to this side. Whoa! What an amazing trick by Chris Trot. And <laughs> my a very look so weird. They do. Look at that. And a very sleepy Kim Richards. Hey. Oh, ah. oh, God, that was actually really loud. I'm here. Um, poor Sam. I'm sorry about that, Sam. I'm in England. You're in England. You're awake. She's back. She's back. She's from back travels in the flesh. abroad. I'm back the Wait, no, she's not. I'm a real. hologram. She's right. not real. <laughs> we have Kim back on the other side. So, We've got Tom so and Ree. So put your, that finger. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately trying to learn. Okay, stop making those gestures because I'm worried that some. Okay, that's fine. I was worried whoa, that you were going to. Where's your thumb gone? <laughs> whoa, why has it come off? <laughs> Hi. Tom and Ree, everyone. Hi, oh, that's back. Lovely. Um, sadly, oh we do not have poor Katie. Please put some uh, lovely hearts in chat. Lots She's not feeling love. very well. Um, she's got uh, very ongoing ill issues. Mm. Um, uh, and we all send our love and yeah. hope that you get better soon, mate. Love you, um, Katie. Yeah, uh, it's not. Uh, it's it's never nice being ill when there's D and D yep. happening. So. Um, that's it. Um, welcome back. We missed you. We loved you. Uh, we don't have a ton of stuff. Oh, oh. these are Rhiannon's dice jails. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, well perfect. Uh, so we don't have a lot of announcements this week. Again, we're just going to do a couple of very quick reminders uh, about some awesome things uh, that you should make sure you go and check out. The first, and it's a big one, it's old TwitchCon Amsterdam. We've talked Woo! about it a load. I'm going to keep talking about yeah. it, though, because loads of people, you'll be surprised how many people are like, I had no idea that was a thing. Uh, we're going to be at TwitchCon Amsterdam, which is the 16th and 17th of July mm -hmm. next month. Um, uh, fingers crossed everything goes well. Yeah, Still I need my passport. Out my, um, me too. <laughs> Um, oh, Royal Mail. Tree! Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, I'll, I'll Tree! Sort that out. Timber! <laughs> sort that later. TwitchCon Amsterdam, 16th and 17th of July. We will be there. Most importantly, we're going to be doing a live show on the yeah. big main Glitch Stage Theatre, yeah. uh, which is going to be at 2.15pm. Oh, it's called that. 15 oh, sorry, PM. No, 2.15pm nice. um, on the Saturday, uh, going till, uh, I think, uh, 3.45. Um, it's about a 90-minute show. Uh, it is going to be a live D&D show on the stage. There's costumes. We've yeah. been ordering those this yeah. week. Mm -hmm. There's props. There's sets. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but what's it about, Mark? Oh, not just that, but we've got two very special guests oh, that we mentioned first as well. Uh, we are joined by Maya, who's another Twitch streamer, and also part of the Table Story uh, t tabletop role-playing game streamers as well. Woo. So if you want to see Maya in action, you can go and check out Table Story. Uh, they're really awesome. Loads of cool D&D stuff uh, going on. Um, but also, Scott Major, Smager of Minecraft fame, um, a wonderful, lovely human, uh, joining, both joining us as our special guests at the show. Sadly... Kimberly will not be joining us. Um, hey, that's me. That's you. That's uh, me. <laughs> but we do have the other two joining us, no. um, and uh, we'll be we'll be sending Kim lots of pictures of us up to nonsense. And, Great. Uh, well, and also the desperate like, oh, we've been in rehearsals for four hours, please. Um, we'll send you those ones as I'm well. I want to play with all your cats and dogs. While that's you're fine. Away. You can do that. Um, but in terms of what this, what it is actually about, and this is the most exciting, important bit, is this is going to be a prologue. Think of it as a pre-title sequence to campaign three. Uh, even though that is a fair ways off still yet, we didn't want to jump in with TwitchCon Game and do something in a rowist, which has been going on forever. Uh, we wanted to kind of set up something new, maybe entice a few new people in to come and watch. And we thought, what better way than to do a little a little preview, a little sneak peek. Mm, just dip your toe in. Dip your toe in mm. to the setting of Ilmera and Ulthea, the new worlds and the continent that campaign three is set on. Um, it's going to take place in a great big whopping city. And the, the players are going to be be playing as citizens of that city. They're not going to be playing their characters, their final characters, um, but 
if they survive the one shot, those characters may live on as NPCs in the final world. Um, you guys will get to have a little bit of a say in the adventure as well. There's going to be some chat and audience voting on some stuff that's going to happen. Um, and yeah, it's going to be taking place. You'll also be able to watch it live on Twitch's main channel as well. So if you can't join us in Twitch in Amsterdam, which you should because we're going to be there, it's going to be great. Um, but if you can't, watch it live on Twitch as well. Um, the only other thing I was also going to mention is don't forget we are on TikTok. We've actually, we're yeah. nearly at 10,000 followers on TikTok yeah, and we've got it, King. we've got some really cool stuff planned for 10,000 a little ongoing story continuation maybe a little Q&A on TikTok as well um, and it is D&D High Rollers I believe isn't yeah. it it's it's D&D High Rollers not yeah. High Rollers D&D D&D High Rollers on TikTok um, and we post like funny clips we post like original sketches um, it's been really fun and we've got the lovely Sarah from Yog Talk uh, Yog's Cast Talk TikTok Yog Talk all the talks and yes she's killing it she's killing it Queen she's here now and she's, yeah. she lives see, in the England. See yeah. um, you might even be seeing her uh, involved in some stuff going on with High Rollers. We've got some ideas for some cool stuff before the streams. Yeah. So she might be visiting the studio at some point. Um, those were going to be my only announcements. Is there anything else, my lovely friends and team? Yes. Tom does, does anyone know anyone? At Capcom. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this yes. is actually yes. real. Dragon's, yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 exists. It's being okay. made. You and don't. I need they have you. a t-shirt. They you. can't hear you, Tom. What? I need you to tell me, get me information. I want to get involved. No, well, yes, but in Syria, like, that is very true. This is a game that, like, Tom and I loved even before High Rollers. We've got Trot into it now as well. Uh, it's genuinely probably Tom's It's real. Game. It's real. Oh, my God, it's happening. <laughs> He's so excited. We actually watched... <laughs> We actually watched the announcement <laughs> together live, and honestly, me, Tom, and Trot genuinely were like, yes! Like, we were so excited about it. Uh, Dragon's Dogma is a fantastic game. It's inspired by tabletop RPGs. Like it's, right, it's, it's a brilliant RPG. It's a genuinely really good game. If you work at Capcom, if you know somebody who works at Capcom in marketing, Seriously, Please. we'd love to talk to you about doing something. Please, for Dragon's Dogma. Tom, do it. For do look it. at this oh man. Oh my look god, I need it. I need it. I need it. Oh god, the best. <laughs> and we know. Yeah. Like every time I talk about it, I start shaking. I'm so excited. A dragon's dogma isn't for life. No, it's for Christmas. It's for life. It's, it's just for Christmas. It's just for Christmas. <laughs> It's a short, really short a dragon's, term thing. A dragon's dogma isn't just for Steam sales; it's for life. Yes, there, you go. there we Bang. go. Please, um, and someone. We, and and well, Kim knows the devs, so yeah. we're gonna we're Do gonna you leverage smell that. Me? Yeah. Yes. I met them like however many years ago, but he's doing, <laughs> right there. He's doing it right there, bud. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Fresh from the plane. That's gonna get clipped. That is gonna get clipped. <laughs> It's going to go out of context. Oh, no. That's going to go on some subreddits. <laughs> that, right, with it's that wild said, it's the Samuel, Sorry. Uh, Sam, please. That was solid. It's going to be wild. <laughs> run the intro. Just run it, Sam. Just go. Welcome back. <laughs> I warned him. I said we're about to do it. No noises. Tom does it. Sets Ri off. Well, are we good? We're good. We're good. Right. Just do a professional intro. <clears throat> <laughs> don't, oh. don't set him off. Because then you set each other off. <laughs> well. Got burp brewing now. Right. <clears throat> So, 
last time on Erois. Traveling aboard the Storm Chaser towards the northern jungles of Jakesh in pursuit of the Titan Kalara, who has fallen into despair and grief and has turned her holy knights into mournful killers and hidden away in a demiplane of unknown means and purpose. On the airship, there were attempts to train the wolf pack, including magical lectures and a game of Dodge the Rock, but did not end very well, mm. as well as an incident involving beautiful, rare, magical birds that we will speak of no further. <laughs> On arriving in Jakesh, the area of the Grove Bloom Valley seemed to be enshrouded in magical darkness. Descending to a camp outpost set up by the Guardian Scouts, the champions found it abandoned. And from the tree line, a mass of skeletal creatures wrapped in black vines and roses emerged in vast, vast numbers. And now the battle continues. Uh, so mm. let me just get a couple of things and then I'm going to uh, get a couple of things up. You right there, Thomas? <laughs> I just started doing like a worried mm -hmm. <laughs> it really set me off for some reason. Yeah, what a surprise. You set me off laughing at a weird noise. Oh, God, she's never laughed at those before. Who um, the who'd have thought? increase. Mm -hmm. yeah. Had tombras to so, tones. Thank you. <clears throat> we will be resuming this battle before we do. Yeah. As you prepare to face down these assembled skeletal hordes that seemingly have no end, the very darkness around you seems to tremble and waver for a moment. Suddenly, the trees buckle and sway before you are hit by a gale of rushing air and a horrifying, wailing shriek that seems to come deep from within the jungle itself. The black roses and vines within the skeletal creatures seem to swell, the roses growing in size, but in doing so, these creatures seem to become more brittle and vulnerable. Now, as they advance towards you, a supernatural aura of sorrow and loss seems to follow them. And that is my in-canon explanation for a couple of tweaks I made. So I've, meant, I've done this before. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when you're a DM, you're trying out new ideas, and especially when you have a little break like we have, you get new ideas or you think about ways that you can do stuff better. I have tweaked some elements of this. So those of you who were here for the last encounter, I'm just going to give you a very quick overview. Uh, I've changed a couple of things based on some feedback. Um, a lot of the ideas uh, were, came about from chatting in the Discord, as well as my good friends MCDM's new monster book, Flea Mortals. So one big thing for melee warriors, so this will mainly affect Sentry, Nova, and Ayla, who I'm guessing Tom's going to be rolling for today. Yes. Um, Weapons, weapon attacks like melee weapons and ranged weapons can now over damage. So if you deal enough damage to kill one of these minions, um, any remaining damage, so you subtract the, the amount of damage it took, these guys have 17 hit points, I, I don't mind telling you that. Um, any damage left over is then transferred to either another creature within reach if it's a melee weapon, or if it's a ranged weapon like a bow, which isn't so much an issue for you guys, we don't really have like any ranges, but if you did, it would be a line drawn from the, the archer okay. to the monster and then going behind it, so you could strike multiple ones oh. in, in a line behind, right? Oh. Um, yeah. Spells and cantrips, unaffected. So spells and cantrips just work as normal. Um, okay. So even cantrips like Eldritch Blast doesn't hit in a, in a line, it just hits one creature. Cantrip, that's the, the counterpoint, right? Spells get to do AoEs most of the time. Um, melee weapons are unfortunately a little bit less useful in this, so I wanted to give them a little quick buff. Okay. I'll talk more about reasons why uh, another time. Um, AC, this is kind of a big change and more important for you guys. Uh, last time I had this weird thing where like you could buff your AC to reduce damage. Now, what I've done is I've just sort of upped some of the damage for the creatures a little bit, but you will reduce the total damage you take from all minions by an amount equal to your AC. So if you have okay. an AC of 15, when I t and I tell you that you take 35 points of damage, you would take 15 off and you would take the remaining 20, right? Okay. Um, cool. So that's it, and it's a good reason that you can, and you can still activate shield and other reaction abilities based on taking that damage at the start of your turns, right? Cool. Uh, Kim, the, a lot of this is gonna be new stuff because you obviously weren't here, so we'll just go through it as stuff happens. In general though, you basically, at the start of your turn, you take damage based on the number of minions within range of you. Uh, there's no attack rolls for the minions because there's too many of them, so you just take damage depending on how many there are. So the higher AC, you do get a little, you do get a benefit to having a higher AC. Can't right? stop the swarm. Can't stop the swarm. Can't stop stopping. 
Um, there's also a change, the effect that when the minions die, that's been completely changed. I'm not going to tell you what that is, you'll find out what it is. Um, okay, so and am then, I, Am I still entangled? Uh, no. Uh, okay. None of you, are, we're going to kind of fresh reset on all of that, and it's going to kind of start fresh on a new thing. Um, and then the last thing is the Storm Chaser's fire support. Last time you can have the Storm Chaser fire down. Um, I'm going to slightly change it to make it a little bit more what I was aiming for, which is this idea of like using the laser pointer or a flare. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the you, you basically, as a PC, if you create a single light source of bright light that creates 20 foot of bright light, but no more or less. So we're basically talking about the light spell or a lit torch or similar effect. Anything Think like a sunbeam which creates a vast amount of light is too blinding the storm chaser can't pinpoint it's too much light yeah. so now you're basically creating like a, a marker to say hit here and they focus in on that um uh, and most of the other stuff is exactly the same now uh any minions that are caught in the blast will be destroyed if any of you are caught in the blast you get a deck saving throw or you take damage um and that's kind of the main changes uh, <clears throat> cool. so i just cool. wanted to kind of give you a little update on those i know that some people at home follow along with the design stuff as well so i want to do that i'll also tell you that you're currently on turn four this is at the top of turn four um that's and the idea I'm of this was seconds, to yeah. endure uh, that well. was, you received a message, Century received a message, and I will let Century relay that message. I'm not going to remind you of it if Century remembers that message. We have to keep the clearing clear so the guardians that are currently in the forest can make their way out safely. Okay. Keep fighting. There you keep go. Fighting. Keep also, the way clear. Kim, for your benefit, uh, loud noises and loud and big lights uh, draw in more swarms. Yes. So, specifically, any spell or effect or ability or item or whatever, if it creates loud noise, bright light or uh, the other one I said I, and I've added this to kind of make fireball because fireball doesn't say that it makes a loud explosion but it does say that but anything that, a fireball exactly <laughs> but what I've said is anything that causes flammable materials to ignite so if you created a wall of fire for example same problem right it's going to set a load of stuff on fire and this is going to draw more of these undead minions um, all right so how do we stand at the moment? Uh, so at the moment, we're going to be jumping in. And also the way the initiative works is basically packs of these things activate after each of you take a turn, right? Um, so at the top of the round, because we're going to start on a brand new round, let's have Kim, because she's back. Roll a d4 for me, please. Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly. One. One. Uh, I think I said one was that far edge. We'll do one, two, three, four. So, at the very start of a turn, I'm going to have to get up. Wait, this is the first one we had that's come from that direction. Um, so. They all yeah. came from like either this side or the other side. East and west. Yeah, I think bang. so. That's this first group that's Banks appeared came from there. there. No worries. Nice. Now we're surrounded. Now we're, yes. Now we have well, to there's none of that, so. Uh, <laughs> well, and yeah. we well, are going to go with yeah. uh, Sentry is the first up. We did re-roll initiatives as well in case anybody at home is like, oh, it should be Tom Hazel first. We yeah, re-rolled initiative. Not this time. Not this time. Not this time. How are we looking health-wise? Apparently, <coughs> I'm on 61. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I think. Well, you should have played better. Ayla, <laughs> Ayla has got cuts and bruises, but it seems otherwise uninjured. I think every the rest of you, you're all under half health. Yeah, yeah. Ayla's the only I'm one who is not exactly half. Ayla is looking great. All right, I'm mm -hmm. going to take this little bit of open open time that we currently have. I'm going to do a little healing. Where are you? I'm in the middle. Oh, okay. I'm going to. Um... Sentry is right in the middle, so I can kind of thank you, Samuel, zooming in the camera. Set. We have Sentry here, uh, Quill and Lucius. You are all surrounded by minions currently. Nova and Ayla at the back uh, this way. You don't need to scroll, Sam, but thank you. Uh, this way. Uh, and then on the far side, over uh, on the, which would be the right-hand side, we have two packs of minions, and then another pack of minions. In fact, let's use north, east, south, and west, and we'll say north is the, the top end, so. Cool. Okay, so, so north and east, surrounded. Yeah. Clumps. Yeah, in fact, we'll say where Nova and Ayla are is the north, and then we'll do east, south, south, west. Makes sense for the camera, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this, towards, towards me is south north. South and west have got big hordes Lots. of boys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's pretty clear other than that other than the center where there's like seven eight maybe yeah you also have a little guardian called dowser with you um who i is stood up on the map and i can't remember if they were alive or not so i'm gonna say that they are currently alive they were healed they were yeah. i believe so they were hit Probably. by the airship i think thing, you right? healed them yeah. yeah yeah so we will say that dowser is currently up although dowser is not a combatant uh dowser is just a pure scout um, yeah i think i healed him to max yes um because yeah. he does not have a lot of hit points yeah exactly <laughs> Cool. I'm All gonna, right. I'm gonna give Lucius thirty healing. 
back to Thank the blade hand. Thank you. Okay. So you're just going to use action, touch Ooh. Lucius. Yeah. 30. 30, yeah. And I'm going to bonus action, harness divine power and regain a level 3 spell slot. Okay. And just get myself ready for the next... And also, since you're at the start of your turn, uh, so this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... This guy's here. So that's going to be 5 times 8, as I said, I did up their damage to... But 40 minus so your 40 AC. minus your AC. 40 minus 21. 20. So that would be 19. 19. Nice. Cool. Alrighty, and that'll be my turn. Just, yeah, getting bolstered up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so you took 19 there, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, yes, okay. All right, cool. All right, uh, after Sentry, you're fully done. Mm. I am done, thank after you. After Sentry goes. I'm going to have uh, a pack activate. Activate. Pack. activate. I'm going to have a pack <laughs> yes. activate. Jinx. I already jinx. Oh dear. Um, that's drop for the rest of the stream. Can't talk. <laughs> pack activate. <laughs> Isn't that unless you get a can of coke or something like that? I have to say, I think his full name. What is this? Oh, it's, it's Trot. Isn't that? What? No, I have to say it. Oh right. No, but I'm like, what's his full name? I don't know. I just know him as Trot. You're just Trot, right? Mm. First name Trot, last name Trot. Yeah, Trot Trot. Trot Trot Trotimus. Trot Trot Trotimus. Trot Trot Trotimus. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher Trot. <laughs> so you see <clears throat> from the. He said you're from, from the west, uh, scrambling <laughs> over these kind of wooden yes. camouflage, kind of like these little. Um, what do they call them? Where you've kind of just got like a little shelter that looks like a camouflage shelter that you would store supplies under. Scrambling over and around it, uh, another. Oh shit! Pack yeah, we should have been paying attention to this. <laughs> uh huh. Um, that's fine. You can make jokes, entertain the audience. That's important too. Uh, <laughs> so you can be funny, Tom. <laughs> oh, can I? Thanks. Funny guy. But you're gonna die. Um, that's a lot these, of boys. Let me give these back to you as well. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We're currently uh, reorganising the map. Uh, we're being swarmed for podcast listeners. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did briefly at Scrim that. Yes, uh, so, uh, yeah, you see this pack kind of scramble over. Because they're minions, they don't take actions, they just move. Um, yeah. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so that is that pack activated. So we go to Lucius. Uh, right, at the start of your turn, Lucius, that yeah. is going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Seven times eight. Are they all within range? I thought it was uh, five feet. Of range. Ten feet of these oh. for these guys. Is that four feet eight? Uh, wow. Seven times eight. Seven times eight is oh, going to be like, yeah. no. It's going to be 40, 56, 56. Minus your AC. Minus one. <laughs> it's not one. <laughs> uh, minus seventeen. So fifty-six minus seventeen. Uh, 40, Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Yeah. Uh, as you have taken more than 25 points of damage from these things, uh, Chris Trot, <laughs> oh, <could be. laughs> uh, I would like you gain a stack of something called Grief Rot. Oh. Uh, oh. So as these things pile on you, this overwhelming sense of sorrow and loss begins Love to sap rot. away <laughs> at your soul. Uh, whilst you each stack of Grief Rot uh, reduces your speed by five feet, um, and there may be other effects as well. Get really sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I would like to. You are surrounded. These things are just as they claw at you. They have broken weapons, broken like clawed, bony hands. The vines seem to almost stretch out from them like a whip and kind of will ash everything around them. Cool. I think I will disengage. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to move. It's probably better on you guys. Move me. Um, I think I can get you. Basically behind down, sir, in that little yeah. hole there. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. You got ten feet more of movement. That's fine there. Okay. I think I'd basically use this. Okay. Hole. So you've moved uh, about sort of twenty feet to the east. I have. Um, near the tents. Yeah. Um, and this pole is almost like a, something that like they've been propping gear and supplies up against. So there's like a yeah. few like broken walking sticks and longbows and things. I would like to use some sorcery points to quicken a spell. Okay. Um, to make it a bonus action. Yep. So that's two so sorcery action points. Action to disengage, move, and now bonus action. My bonus action will be an acid splash. <laughs> it's the cantrip. No. Acid splash. Um, sorry, not acid splash. Vitriolic, Vitriolic sphere. Vitriolic sphere. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I'll be doing that at level. Ooh, what have we got here? Level five. And I'm going to be targeting basically the, the swarm that's going over the shelter there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 20 foot. So Can we have the template? The Bring template forth the template. Will be unleashed. <laughs> 20. So I think that's the whole thing. That's the whole bloody thing. Pretty big. Nice. Yeah, so it's important to say. I didn't realize how big that was. I've got a 50 foot radio spell, and that's, that's the off the map. That's the, that's the map. entire yeah. map, yeah. yeah. So. The only thing, so I think this is going to catch that entire pack there and one of them in front of Quill. Okay, yeah. Does it catch any of those other ones, Chris? Uh, maybe that one. Sure, I'll say. That's yeah. down to yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take that back. Huge. Cool. The um, disc of truth. They, so, and I mentioned this before, this is for Kim's benefit and the audiences. Minions always fail saving throws. Um, oh, yeah. They are immune to certain effects, um, some effects they're immune to, um, but they automatically fail saving throws. So once you've cast a spell, this is basically going to kill them, because even if you do yeah. half damage, I'm pretty sure this is going to wipe them out. I mean, you should roll the damage anyway, I so shall. we know. Um, Put the stats out there. Yep. Mm -hmm. 12d4 this is. Yeah, so come on. Unless you roll lots of ones. Yeah. Hard pressed to fail. Well, ones become twos anyway. That's oh my god, I rolled like five ones. <laughs> Good job. That's wow. 34. 34. Nice. So, yeah, that's going to wipe these all out. That's so many ones. <clears throat> we'll turn to twos. Turn to twos. Deep sure, fours turn to twos is pretty powerful. Yeah, it's a big boy move for a big boy. He's tall. You are a big boy. You're yeah. a key. The size boy. of that boy. Yeah. Um, so we don't quill. have death root anymore, so do we? Uh, the death root is not around. No, the death root is this large plant-like creature that is not seemingly here. What? However, as the acid explodes, go on. I was just going to die Sure, as well. which yeah. Um, so fifth level, I would hit the other one next in front of Quill. Okay. Um, and that would be plus four to that, plus the spell. So that's nine points. Uh, nine points doesn't actually kill it, actually. We'll leave that one there. So the acid sort of splashes over that one, uh, melting parts of its body, but not quite destroying kind it. Kind of like gripping onto this horizontal beam of wood and just like <laughs> blasting over the yeah, top. Yeah, like you're covered in like scrapes and cuts yeah, and like I'm leaning on it for support. Um, <laughs> as the acid splashes, this kind of ball, orange orb of acid uh, explodes and coats these minions. It just melts the bones and the plants away. Even part of the shelter is beginning to burn. Quill, the one that collapses in front of you, kind of caught in the back by this explosion. As it dies, it does erupt in that vegetation, um, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Mabby. Constitution, my favorite. You get plus three from me. Plus two, plus, oh, plus five then. Mm -hmm. 11. 11 is not enough. Uh, you gain a stack of grief rot. As this thing explodes, it kind of releases this aura of uh, okay. sorrow and sadness. It reduces your movement speed by five feet and may have other effects. So getting hit for a lot of damage does it. Getting exploded and failing a save does it. How many max stacks are there? Great question. I mean, my walking speed is only 30 max. And now it's 25. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to be slowed down a lot. You also know I have not told you how to remove them. <laughs> you will have oh, to find that out. Yeah. Um, just think happy so, things. Lucius. <laughs> smile. End of turn? End of turn. All right, at the end of your turn. Uh, now, Acid Splash doesn't create light, light or a loud noise. It doesn't ignite anything, so we don't see Swelch. any packs appear. Um, <laughs> Sizzle. However, a pack does get to activate. Activate. <laughs> the one from I the south. I didn't realize how big 20 foot. Oh, yeah. Sphere Big was. boy. Yeah. So I had this. Yeah. Where did it come from? Mark got it. Mm. The circle of truth. Why do you have grazers all over your hands? You fall over. I put a plate away in my cupboard, and the cupboard attacked me. Oh, was it a mimic? Go watch out, yeah. It was a mimic. Say, it was a mimic. <laughs> so the pack from the south just charges forward. Um, just see them surge forward towards the battle, uh, scrambling over the ground, uh, wielding these broken weapons, um, and this aura of sorrow and grief seems to coalesce around them. Uh, we go to Ayla. Nice. Uh, so Ayla is next to one boy right now. Mm -hmm. um, so she th that would be eight points of damage. Um, but her AC is high enough to negate that. True. Um, okay. She takes no damage at the Well, I think she's got extra attack and she's raging. So I think, yeah, she's just going to whack at that one. All right. Uh, let me get her stats and sheet up. Uh, she's got a plus 15 to hit. I do have her stats here. Cool. Um, I can edit the HP then, basically. So 22. 22 hit. will hit. Uh, D10. 
I never use a D10. Which one's a D10? Sentry. I don't actually have any D10s it's though. It's a weird looking one. Boom. Three plus nine plus four. Three plus thirteen. Sixteen damage. Oh, it's still alive. It's still alive. Damn. Still alive. So the one whack <laughs> kind of slams into it, but not enough to fully wipe it out. Mm. I can't, with Ayla, bonus action that thunder and then move off to do the second attack. Can I have to do Did both you add attacks? a D? She does do a D6 of lightning damage on her attacks. Yeah. Well, it's dead then. It's dead then. It's yeah. dead then, yeah. Uh, so as that one explodes, can. But for stats, it was a four. Uh, can Ayla make a constitution saving throw for me, please? Uh, plus 11. 25. Jeez. She is fine. <laughs> the grief um, rot does not seem to apply to her. Nice. And then, yeah, she would, uh, I imagine, run into this pack surrounding um, Quill and Sentry mm -hmm. uh, in a position that would, I guess, be able to hit three of them if she was to Five, ten, really ten. swing that hammer -lammer. Yeah. So she can do. I'm a ding dong. She moves to uh, sort of on the outskirts of it. Yes. Cool. Um, Howling Tempest again. Um, bam. Nine plus fifteen. That's a hit. Twenty-four. So a D10 and a D6. Okay. Oh. Uh, Twelve plus thirteen. Twenty-five. So that would kill one. Um, and then how much is left? So take 17 off 25. 18, 8. 8, so the next one takes 8. And um, a that's a constitution saving throw for me, please. Constitution say, oh, from Ayla, 26. That's a pass. Uh, oh, and Quill, please, as well, actually. Oh, so that one was within 5 feet of Quill. Yeah. Uh, 10. Uh, that is another stack of grief rock, please. Quill. Okay, and what does that mean? Uh, Still five. An extra five feet, so it's now your movement is reduced by ten. Oh my god! Okay, I'm down to twenty, twenty feet of movement, and um, they make deck saves, which they fail. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, to take three d6 of lightning. Plus her con mod, actually. Plus con. Wow. She's a, a part of her belt. Adds let her Plus add five. con. Damn. Uh, oh wow, I'm rolling Ayla's lightning damage. Another! <laughs> Five, six, eleven lightning, <laughs> which I guess if it's directed it's the on same one, one yeah. uh, then the one that was damaged to kill that. This one or this one? The one I damaged was... this one. Yeah, do that. I know what's going to happen. It's another con safely, but that Ayla... is two more points of damage to another one. Ayla got a 29 on con. Holy moly. No, not a 29, 19. Okay. 19 succeeds. Uh, I got 15. Ooh. Nope. Not enough. It's a failure. 18. One more. Oh, for me. yes, 18. 18 is a success. Hey. Because of Sentry. Well, Thank you. So Sentry, you feel that as like, you'll be, Quill, you're kind of almost being overwhelmed by the, this kind of supernatural sadness and sorrow, but there's something about Sentry's blazing matrix that is managing to kind of shield you from that particular death as this thing almost like lets out this mournful wail as it dies. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Um, just like I that. I think I would have failed the second one as well with, with your yes, matrix as you well. Um, yeah, and I think that's if I guess would she then continue her movement? No, I think she'll stay there just to stay away from the undead a bit. Um, but yeah, that's Ayla. That's Ayla's turn. Okay, all right. Uh, well, there's only a couple left of one of the remaining packs. Oh no, there's that pack over there. Yeah. I'll move those guys. Ooh, oh, goody. Yeah, they they sort of appeared and then just sort of stood there for a bit, confused. Just chilling, picking their undead noses, pulled out their brain. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would happen? So much extra lore about these skellies I didn't know. Pissed We're adding butt. lots of lore to the monsters, the things brains. we kill. Yeah. Would they eat it or no? Would they eat the brain that yeah. they picked out of their own nose? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think if you died and came back as a skeleton. Mm. Life's pretty shit as is, so you got to get your perks where you True, can. True, yeah. I'd, 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 I'd eat myself. Boy. I'd try it at least once. Yeah. They all yeah. begin I'd trying to off. clamber their way towards like little you. Little Nova Vija, your turn. You are not within range of any minions, so you take no damage. Cool. Uh, but it is your turn. It's a really good placement. I would like to look at what a 50 foot radius looks like <gasps> on this. Ooh. 50 foot radius is basically the entire map. And if I could just center it so that I don't catch. Mm, I guess you just keep moving. That's very annoying. Yeah, I would say strange. you're not going to be able to hit both groups. You can definitely completely engulf that pack at the back, or you can engulf this pack on the side. But if the I 50 foot, you're going to hit Sentry and Quill to hit all of them. I might do it. 
Sure. I might go for it. What spell is this? Reverse gravity. All right, Ooh. okay. You're going to oscill oscillate the dead a lot. And you. <laughs> <laughs> and you. And me. Well, if I want to hit both packs, I need for you to go up as well. How bad are you right now? You're pretty sad, aren't you? I'm kind of sad. How's your health? Do you want to go 100 foot up in the air? I mean, I can fly. If you get rid of the gravity, I can fly, right? Like. Do you want to go 100 foot up? Yeah. What about you, Sentry? I'm down. N no, no, go that's up. not. That's the you're up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I'm up. Up for anything. Lol. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Quality. <laughs> Street. <laughs> I would like to so. cast reverse gravity in a way that catches both packs. Uh, yeah, then it would basically catch, I would say, Everyone. yeah, Sentry and Quill are going to be the main you players affected. Make, I flap up. If there is a solid yeah, object flap. somewhere, you can make a dex save. Uh, there is, so where they are, there is not anything the, uh, directly above where the campsite is, mm -hmm. is open. There's no trees or canopy or anything like that. Just the, the, back at the, the back towards the south are going to just clip some of the trees. Um, and so, but, but they fail safe through. Yeah, the, 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 the minions. It does, the minions doesn't really matter. So, they're more that they're not. They're bumping into the tree yeah, canopy. Yeah. They're not the four hundred feet up in the air. Um, but sentry goes up. Uh, Quill, you can just fly because it's only gravity that's being affected. So I can literally just fly. Yeah, but your movement speed is still reduced. Up downwards. However, for the purposes of this, you are technically until at the start of your turn, you will still be next to all of those minions. They oh. are still in the same space as you. Oh, that's what I mean. Can I can I fly? Not as no, you, unless you have place. a reaction. No, unless you have oh. a reaction that lets you do that. No, no. Because you you can still fall as a bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but on your turn, it means that you, unlike Sentry, you'll be able to just fly out of the radius if you wanted to. Um, Are you guys fine with this? Yeah, I'm yeah, fine. yeah. I mean, you've cool. done it now, so yeah. there's, there's no question. It. It's yeah. done. Yeah, I bet you're really glad I'm back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so happy. Yeah. To be fair, uh, I was one turn away from doing this. So that is your action. That's how big it was. Nova. You still have move and bonus? I would like to bonus action cast second, not cast, but manifest Use second wind, second wind mm -hmm. to give myself some, some HPs. HPs back. Sure, sounds so good. So it's 1d10 plus. I ain't going to hit you yet. I'll drop you, bird So boy. far away. Yeah, you are now 100 feet up. Yeah, so. What about you? Sentry is also 100 feet up. Yeah. I gain 17 right. There you go. End of turn. They're also out of the vitriolic sphere, aren't they? So um, that wouldn't hurt them next round. The vi it doesn't or is stick. It on the, oh, it, that one the, doesn't the effect is like if you hit a creature, if it survives to the next round, it continues to burn with acid. It doesn't stay in the area. That's right. Yeah, it burns it, them. It's yeah. stuck on there. Yeah, but they all died. Tuck so. myself between the rock and the hard place, hard place yeah. <laughs> so that Quill doesn't land on me. <laughs> sure. It's not me you should be worried about. You just pulled up a guardian. End of turn. What? Oh yeah. Never no, we're sweet. Too. Yeah. That's gonna make a lot of noise. There are no more packs to activate, so it goes straight to Quill, who I believe is oscillating. One, two, three, four. Four <laughs> times eight. No, five times eight. Sorry, Keelix. Six times eight. Oh. Uh, I've so got forty-eight the minus fourteen, so thirty-four. 34 uh, points of slashing damage. Uh, you also uh, take, how many stacks of grief rot did you have? Did you have? Two. So you take another two poison damage as well. Ooh. And- Oh, you... I am poisoned as well, I forgot. Uh, oh, okay, so you I'm have disadvantage lost. on attack rolls and, and saving throws and stuff like that. Oh, um, I had disadvantage on saving throws this entire time. It. Don't worry about it. Um, remember for next time. Um, the other thing is uh, because you took more than 25 points of damage, that's another stack of grief rot. So you're up to three. So oh. minus 15 foot speed. Three. And every stack of grief rot, you will take one point of poison damage at the start of your turn, on top of everything else. This is pretty bad. How do we get rid of it? So, you, however, it is now your turn. You can act, you can fly, you are in the, the reverse sing. gravity. <laughs> uh, yep. He can sing, he can sing. <laughs> Dr. Zeus, Dr. Zeus. Just keep in mind that these things, uh, they don't make attacks from opportunity or anything, so. Um, that's okay. Uh, as an action, I want to do Word of Radiance. Okay. Uh, so anything within five feet, con save, which they fail, mm -hmm. takes 4d6 okay. plus six of radiant damage. Within five feet. Drop. Within five feet of me. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that's going to be sentry and two more, two of the minions. Oh, yeah. If I, if I did nudge a little bit to the side, so I'm not procking 
opportunity attack. So you want to? You don't get opportunity attacks on these guys. Okay. So you can move. Uh, I kind of just want to hit. Slightly. You'll hit four of them. Four of them. They're cool. Mm -hmm. um, Why did I disengage? So it's <laughs> a great question. Forty-six plus six. Two, two, four, eight. 11, 16, 17. 17. 17. 17 is exactly it. Nice. Can you make four con saves for me, please? Yeah, I was going to say, mate. But I need to kill him. Why? Because I was I... going to drop him next go. Yeah, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> four con saves, please. With disadvantage. Uh, yes, but you do get plus three from Sentry. One failure. Two failures. <laughs> Uh, oh, wow. 17, 19, 22. All right. On one of those. Okay. And uh, another failure. That's three more stacks, please. So I'm <sighs> down to zero wow. speed. You fall. Uh, so you now oscillate. Okay. Your speed is zero, uh, so you can't fly. So you are locked in place. And you're really sad <laughs> about the whole thing. And yeah, you, yeah, it's like you just, this, this oppressive, almost sickness is drawing away your, your you're emotions. Up with sickness. <laughs> well, so that's six, six stacks. So that'll be another, six. at the start of your turn, there'll be six poison damage. Uh, <laughs> well, as a bonus action, because that was an action uh, cantrip, mm -hmm. um, I want to bonus action a heal on myself. Okay. Um, so, healing word, which I will do at fifth level. Wow. Um, so that's how much? Uh, it is 1d4, 2, 3, 4, 5d4, plus 6. Great. 1, 2, 3, 7, 10, plus 6, 16. 16 hit points. You may reduce your stacks by 1. Aww. Okay. okay. So restoring hit points via a spell or an ability will remove one stack of grief rot. Okay. So as the divine magic kind of flows through that you conjure from Hesper and Siaska, um, some of that, uh, this kind of sickness, this cloying sorrow, this miasma, like a black mist that's been clinging to you is dispersed. Um, five feet of movement. I can fly again. You have five stacks. So yes, you've been reduced I to five feet. I can hover at least. Yes. Um, so... Get with a drop and drop. <laughs> I can hover now, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> yes, I would say that if you're basically gonna like, f like use that five feet of movement just to make just sure that when this it. ends, will you'll end style. five feet off the ground basically. Okay. You'll fall, but you'll you'll stay five feet off the ground. Mm. All right. <laughs> uh, done, Quill. Yeah, that's me. That's All me. right. That is because there is no more enemies. So that is going to be a brand new turn. Because of the way of oh, that was one round. That was one round. At the Jeez. top of round five. This is turn five. How uh, many rounds do we have to last? That's a great question. You don't know. Yeah. Um, don't but know. I will. There's you. There's a couple of things that are going to happen. Um, Sentry. Yep. You receive a sending spell uh, oh. from Harper, which is the guardian that contacted you to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, Sentinel Prime, please hold out just a little longer. Thirty seconds. Preparing extraction route and suitable distraction. Over. Cool. Okay. 30 seconds. Five more turns. Five more turns. <sighs> also, at the start of That's turn five, um, I have some bad news. There. Let's just go to them. Oh, yeah. I can literally teleport uh, us to them. Can I get Re, Tom, and Kim to roll D4s for me, please? I can't. Four. Okay. Two. Hang on, I'm going to ask. Give me a second. Another two. Duh. Duh. So, uh, re. A two. A two. One, two. Oh, we, we triple hoarding? Mm. Should have waited until this one for reversing gravity. Well. These guys are actually. The thing is, they appear from different places, though, mm. so it's hard to tell yeah. how worthwhile it'll be. 50 foot radius, though. Because that hoard is Tom. oscillating. Uh, Which two, number? so same place. Same place. From the. West? Yeah. West? Nether E shredded West. <laughs> west. <laughs> Good way to remind yourself. <laughs> One's already fallen over, he's dead. Uh, there are so many minions. Uh, where's the rest of my guys for those? Dead. My boys. They got lost in the woods. Okay. And then Kim, which number did you get? Four. One, two, three. So it's the other Two. side. So east. 
It's a boy there. Thank you. North is clear. Boy. Let's just run that way. Kind of. Well. Is this like a fog of war thing? The moment we unveil a tiny bit more of the map, mm, there's just, just more bad. Another massive yeah. swarm. Bad. <laughs> it's not fog of war. It's just bad. a wall of undead. <laughs> a wall yeah, of yeah. Fog of That's evil. Getting... Chris Truck, can you roll a d4 for me, please? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Two. Two. That's the same place. <laughs> Wait, another one. Oh, oh, it's not a horde. Oh, oh, it's it's a death boot. root. So you see, yes, a dead, uh, the dead root. You dead see root. this uh, for Kim's benefit and the audience's. Uh, this kind of mass of plant life embedded with skulls and black vines that almost has come to life on its own, like a kind of almost unshambling mound, but mixed in with bones and skulls and things like that. Um, as, yeah, this another great wave of them all begins to appear. Um, mm. And we start with Sentry. Oh, hi. Um, do you, I can't remember, do they, did the skeleton Now, towards... Sentry, you don't have anybody around you, do you? No. You're oscillating okay. as well. Up, but you are up 100 feet up in the air. Mm. Yeah. Do the, do the hordes ignore rough terrain? They certainly did seem to be unfazed by it. Also, don't forget that... Especially anything natural. These guys and those guys are oscillating with Yes, you. they are currently up Just chilling. 100 feet up in the air. Well, the other, the ones to the south are probably about mm -hmm. uh, 30 feet up in the air because they were hitting the tree line. Cool. I was thinking about doing like a ring of um, plant growth around us because we can't kind of see it when we're like... In kind of a nice circle at the moment. I would say Sentry you is is wise enough in tactics and battle that like any sort of natural terrain, because when they were dying before, they were leaving like bran uh, brambles yeah. and things like that. They were just moving through it like they were un unaffected by okay. it. Um, okay, different tactic then. Um, can can I use the plant growth and make a little just 10 by 10 carpet to land on for when I drop it? <laughs> when Nova drops Yeah, us? say so, yeah. I mean, it's not going to reduce all of the damage, but it will certainly help, yeah, for sure. I you basically create, like, a thick of, like, um, dense, spongy moss almost to, like, grow up like a bed, like a, a hay bale, and you're going to try and land in that. Yeah. Assassin's Creed it. Yeah, yeah, kind of. 100 yeah. feet's a long-ass way, yeah. uh, so it's not going to absorb all of that damage, but it will definitely reduce it by a heavy amount. Just, just prepping ahead. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Is that saving them as well? Uh, there's only two next to you. In fact, actually, there were two next to you, Sentry, but I okay. don't think 16 your IEC is higher than that, isn't it? Yeah, mine's 21. So, yeah, you would have negated all the damage anyway. Okay, cool. All right. Um, cool. All right, Sentry done? I'm done, thank you. All right, in that case... <laughs> Lucius. No. A swarm. They're oscillating. Lucius. Oh, yeah. They're oscillating. Oh, yeah, these guys are the ones Demon B, they're up. That's right. Cool. They're swimming through the air towards Lucius. <laughs> 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 oh wait, a horde is still going to get to him. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys want a really big light? No. We want it within 20. Why would we want that? Pull it. It's a good light. I'm just, imagine my wall of light right now. No. That would be so A little cool. bigger. <laughs> it's a big light. Yeah. So, from the east, Lucius descending from the tree line, honing on on the closest target they can see, a mass of these undead things comes to swarm around you. Um, and it is, unfortunately, the start of your turn. That is going to be four times, five times eight, 40 points of damage minus your AC. Guess who's down? Oh, fully down, down. Uh, it, you do still keep all your stacks of grief rot as well, I'm afraid to say. So you would gain another one. one. You'll gain another one because that I've was more than 25, now. so you've got two. So that'd be an additional two, uh, another point of point damage as well. But you were already down, so it's fine. Is that a fail, though? No, 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 no. Not yet. Next turn. Next turn, it'll be a fail. Um, so you watch as, yeah, this this swarm just overwhelms Lucius, just completely surrounds him, and his body just crumples I'm to the like ground. I'm, hewing over the pole and then <gasps> turn around. You're to dragged see. back into yeah. the middle of them, and you just see this kind of, like, yeah. pieces of purple fabric and, and things being sort of yeah, torn. fuck me up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so unfortunately, that is at the start of your turn, Lucius. So uh, that is your whole turn done. Uh, it is you are dropped deep. unconscious, which means another pact, a pack immediately activates. Hmm. Okay. I'll get out my red pen for this bit. <laughs> Nova and Ayla getting surrounded. Nova and Ayla. That one's no. dead. That one's dead. Nope. He died. He fell, fell, off. fell off the table. Fell off Gone. The flat world. Yeah. Ah, oh, Furby well. 
Oh, well. Oh, that one fell over. Oh, he's dead. Dead. <laughs> Listen, I was picking up handfuls and just dropping them on the board last time. Um, but yes, another one scrambles from the west towards Ayla and Nova. Nova, these things are, you can, they're, they're sort of tendrils of vines are within range. Like, you are going to start within uh, damage range of at least two of them. They've got ten drills. Lots of drills. <laughs> uh, Ayla. What are you for? <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> Thomas Hazel. Oh. Please uh, run Ayla for us. Ayla. 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 <laughs> Uh, right, well, um, so the ones currently next to her on the map, they are in the sky, right? Yes. Um, well, she'll head towards the horde that has taken down Lucius. Okay. Um, wants to clear that out before he gets Dylan Moran in Shaun of the Deaded. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Nice. Yes. I can already picture it. <laughs> Testing's being pulled out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chomp on them. Yeah. Um, yep, and, yeah, uh, I guess mm. in a position where one swing will just... She's within range of at least three, so... Oh. Um, boom. 17 plus 15. It's a hit. Uh, D10 plus uh, 13. Oh, and a D6, sorry. Uh, oh, that's um, 19. 19, so uh, enough to kill one of them. Um, and then two points transfers over. That is going to be a con save, please. Uh, yep. It matters because you can roll a one. Um, 18. Uh, it's a success. Uh, and then another one. Another whack. Another big whack. This will be to the injured one, the one that just took two, I'm assuming. Yep, and I guess hopefully that will extend to the next one. 18 plus, that's 15. That's a smart thing, yep, it's a hit. It's a whack. Boom. 9 plus 6, 17 plus 13. So... 30 total. That leaves one on two and one killed. Uh, well, this one had 15 yeah. HP, so it kills that one. Yep. 15 points of damage left. Yeah. Puts the next one on two points. Yep. So that's another save. 13 plus 11, 14. No, uh, 24. 20, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, and then that one lightning takes li lightning damage. We'll take lightning damage, yeah. Yep, uh, which is enough to kill it, and it's not an attack, so it doesn't get to transfer over, but it does. Three out three of these things. Nice. That was thirteen. Lightning damage. Yeah. Nice. Really cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of sweeping the blow. Sees Lucius crumpled, unconscious on the floor, but with this. Big sweep of her hammer knocks three of them flying. Yeah, and with the remaining movement, um, which I believe she has, she has 45 feet. Yeah, she, I think I calculated she's used about 30 of it, so she's got about 15 left. Step in front of Lucius. Step in front of Lucius, block the horde from Lucius, even yep. though there is another horde incoming from the other side. No, no, they're in the air. They're in the um, air. But they, yeah, they might survive the drop. They could drop. Yeah. They could drop straight on top of you. Drop skellies. Mm hmm. Um, the other thing as well is, uh, just because Luce, whilst Ayla is stood in front of Lucius, these things just attack anything around them, yeah. so like he might still, unfortunately, might still uh, come to harm. More getting closer. Ayla right? does? Yes. Uh, did she take damage? No, she wasn't next to anything. I'm doing it. I'm playing Ayla. I'm killing. Yeah. You're killing it, King. Thanks. Yeah. Queen. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm the my liege. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor. I'm just going to knock these guys over thought, so I know that they're in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. If, like, they enter my spell of reverse gravity, Does do it they linger? go up? I, yeah, I, I, I'm reading it and it doesn't say, but I just wonder if they enter, would they go up too? Um, I, does it say that, like, the area persists or anything like that? Yeah, it says the spell reverses gravity in a 50-foot radius, 100-foot high cylinder, centered on a point within range. All creatures and objects that aren't somehow anchored go up, blah, blah, blah. These things, because of a hive mind, then they wouldn't have entered that mm. area because they would know that. They can sense that the other ones are up in the air. I mean, these ones, I think, were out of range anyway. So it just means that I'm just going to move them to there because they wouldn't have entered yeah, that, it, it that area. It doesn't say anything, but I feel Well, like how do we want to run it? Do we want to run it that it remains in it's place? concentration spell. Then I'd so say it remains like in like place a... and it just yeah. stays there. So these guys yeah. wouldn't have entered there. They would have gone around, they maybe. Gone That's around. a hell of a way to That's really cool. like, lock, 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 lock off that area. entire area. Force field, yeah. Yeah. No, I might just stay up there. 
So these guys would have basically it's like a wind tunnel. I think everyone yeah. should oscillate. Of course, that's doing like flips and stuff. The only way we can survive this is with oscillation. It does just mean that there's more coming for me. Yeah. 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 I could just oscillate that corner though, because I've got one more charge. Do you? Mm -hmm. Would it drop the first one though? Six yeah. charges, three charges per cast. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Yeah. It would drop the first lot. It would. Pretty bad. Yeah, it would stop we'll... locking off that area and then you would do it to another area. Um, which is great because it's now your turn over, so you get to decide what you want to do. I'm in England. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I had a plan. Did you say the tendrils the two have got? So, yes, you would. At the start of your turn, that would be uh, 16 points of damage, but reduced by your AC, which I think is high. 19. So you don't take any damage. Okay. Um, but I can't move without disengaging. Uh, no, you can. These guys don't make a tax opportunity. Well, f oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm going to move. Where do you want to move? Move towards um, Sweet Boy Lucius. So, five, ten. Without getting near that. Is that a, a scale above? These ones are up in the air. Okay. There's, there's so two you can next go, to do you want to go in front of the tents or do you want to try and come behind Three. these? Skirt tents? around the back of the tents. Yeah, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Okay. And then, what am I doing? I'm going to... Fuck, what am I doing? <laughs> That's a great question. Eldritch. El Eldritch, the blast. Okay, of which one? Blasting. Someone. Should we have to see him? Can I see the ones attacking Lucius and Ayla? You can see one of them. Yeah. You can see one of them. Okay, let's let's go for that. You can see one of them, and then you can see some of the group that um, has emerged from this sort from of this other corner. side. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go for the one um, okay. there. Yeah. Do that one first. Twenty. Hits. Four. Yeah, these guys have an AC of sixteen, so by all means, feel free to just. Uh, I trust you guys. I'm pretty sure, unless you roll like ones and twos, you're going to hit. So. Fifteen. Fifteen is not enough to kill it. But I still hit it. Yeah, you still hit it. Uh, nice. It's exactly the same roll, right? Yeah. Uh, well, no, I got more on the... Uh, the hit. I mean, yeah. If, 28 to hit. Yeah, 28. And as as 15 as... damage. All right, so that would kill that one. Um, it's cantrips, unfortunately, damage doesn't pass over. Um, but that one is destroyed. Um, that one is not within five feet of an ally, so nobody has to make a same throw. Um, and you got two more blasts, I believe. Ooh. 28. Yep. On whatever else is lurking. Strike one of these ones back here to the um, north. Um, and that's at eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points of damage. Okay, not enough to kill it, unfortunately. Uh, Nineteen to hit. Yep. Yeah, that's still hits. Yeah. That will, that will hit. That should kill it. That's ten. More ten more. points of damage. Nice. Uh, so that will kill that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, bonus action. Yes. I would like to floss. summon. I would like to floss. Yep. <laughs> I would like to summon That's Ting part of flossing. Gong. Mm -hmm. That's how she was firing me. <laughs> the <laughs> floss. <laughs> uh, they can only be Sorry, within fifteen awful. foot of me. We're on TikTok. Uh -huh. <laughs> so could I could I summon them um, fifteen foot away from me towards the northern yep. pack? Yep. In a way. So to kind, kind of like of in this open woo. bit of the tree line, which is slightly more open to in the north. Hopes yep. That it might. So we see the shimmering form of uh, the Echo Tiangong. Oh, oh, very well painted there. Uh, oh no, not really. <laughs> it's just very quickly done. I, yeah, I would like to say that we've now got a mini for Tiangong, which is just my old Nova. mini of Nova painted blue by yep. Mark. And a bit of holographic paint. It's not yeah. as holographic as I would like. Um, um, all right, cool. The, I'm just That's thinking, action, can, move. trip doesn't break. Well, you've actioned, so yeah, and you've actioned, moved, bonus action. Yeah, but my, my, Eldritch, my Eldritch Blast will not break reverse gravity. No, it's it? not a concentration no. spell. No. Do I want them to come down? I mean, the ones that are 100 feet up will take 10d6 of falling damage. Uh, the ones that are 30 feet up will take 3d6 of falling damage. Yeah, let's start bringing them down, because Sentry is going right. to come down. Can you roll, um, do, I mean, the 10d6 ones, I'm pretty sure they're going to be dead, unless you roll 10 ones, which yeah. I guess is possible. So I guess roll 10d6, or if you've got it, you can do it on... Beyond, oh, yeah, yeah. if it's a bit quicker as well. 10d6. <coughs> and then you can just do a 3d6 physical one three, for the four, others. Five, six, seven, so this is what you'll be taking as well, but it's like... Yeah. Yes, so it's these three, uh, and then these two are taking the full amount. 20. 20, like, yeah, that's enough to destroy him. That is a 
Low bad roll. roll. That's yeah. a bad roll. It's still good it's enough. Good Thankfully enough. enough, yeah. yeah. Um, those enough. boys. Those, so those are the ones that are only 30 feet up because they were actually hitting the top of the canopy yeah. of the tree line. So that's 3d6 for the ones to the south, please. Even on a best one, roll, it's not going to kill. Two. Three. Ugh! Three, six. Six points of damage total. That's uh, disgusting. So they all come do, 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 clattering down. They do fall prone as part of their, their sort of like, uh, okay. as they clash the gown. So they're going to be Something. at half movement yeah. uh, to, to, to continue on on their activation. Nice. Um, yeah. Novavija. Uh, Sentry. Cool. Uh, the 10d6 would have been 20. Yep. Um, you can reduce that by half because of the sponge. So take 10 points of damage. Point. So you're kind of good thing rolled, so. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Quill, you kind of <sighs> just managing to keep yourself about five feet Oscillate. off the ground. Five um, feet. Yeah, I, I still want to oscillate. Is that possible? Yeah. Just cool. roll around. <laughs> Little chicken legs. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm so, so unhappy right now. End of turn, Nova Vija. It's the most boring flying you've ever seen. The, so vanilla. The pack to the <laughs> south gets up and then they're just going to surge forward. Probably should have waited. Oh, uh, no. Lucius is dead. He had it coming, didn't he? Killed some rare birds. Mm. Yeah. What happened to you, man? Uh, I de-aged. Mm. Teenager here. They're yes, so Ayla and Lucius's body are now almost completely surrounded. Oh, shit. Um, you can see mm. that they thing. And then after those guys activate the dead root. Sensing that this gravity well has. This is round one of five, by the way. Six of ten. Six of ten. I like to think of it that way. He's Shit. right next to me! I can't remember exactly what this guy does. Well, these guys take normal actions. Unlike the, the minions, these guys are actual full creatures. And as it moves forward, you can see that it kind of pulses. And there is almost this kind of barrier of um, green energy that surrounds some of the minions nearby it. Uh, but also, its tendrils are going to... Uh, it's going to make three attacks. Uh, two... Mm, how smart is this thing? It's pretty smart, actually. Um, Sentry's pretty well armoured. Yeah, it's going to do two against Quill and one against Sentry. It's going to uh, mm. try and take out the weaker target first. Am I prone currently? You are st uh, prone, yes. The moss wouldn't have stopped you from going prone. Um, I'm going to roll these because I have dice now. Uh, that is only an 11 to hit you on the first oh. one, Quill. Cool. Uh, and that's going to be a 21 on the second one. Ye okay, yeah, I have yep. to take that one. Um, uh oh. Nine points of poison damage. Can you make a con saving throw for me, please? It's not death rooting me, is it? We'll find out. <laughs> oh my god. Plus three. Uh, oh, plus three, 17 then. 17 the is disadvantage, not With enough. disadvantage. It's not enough anyway. Oh, enough 18 anyway. plus. Okay. Uh, you remain poisoned. Uh, it can't poison you more, but you do gain another stack of uh, grief rot. In that case, I fall five feet. I'm back down to zero feet of <laughs> You movement. don't take damage for falling five no. feet, though, but you are just like, ugh, I weak. I can't even be bothered to fly uh, now. And then sentry, one against you, 20, no. just misses. So psh, manages to just raise the shield in time uh, to deflect this uh, kind of lashing tendril as it does so. Um, but you can see that these things definitely seem to be uh, enhancing the undead around them. Uh, Quill, at the start of your turn, uh, I don't believe you have any minions near you, Just but that guy. you do have stacks of grief rot. How many? Six? Six. Six poison damage, please. God. Uh, I am so unhappy. Oh. Quill, I mean. I'm having a great time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am going to look around at everyone. Just like, meh. <laughs> Lucius is down. Mm. So what? Whatever. When I was. <laughs> Sentry's prone in some spongy moss. Eh. <laughs> <sighs> Who cares? Eh. Whatever. They're all gonna. They're are all you gonna, gonna take a turn, or are you <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure it out? Uh, I guess you're just doing just nothing like for your turn. Delicately wave my hand around and do a mass cure wounds at level eight. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, who, who can you hit and for how much? 
Um, you can pretty much hit everyone. I think right? it's 60 feet of, yeah. Uh, yeah. Jesus. So anyone within 60 feet, well, six people within 60 feet. That's all of you and Elsa, okay, <laughs> who is yeah. just hiding at this point. I think he's hiding in one of the tents. Um, so that would be 1d8, no, sorry, 3d8, 4d8, 5d8, 6d8 of healing plus yeah. six. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, plus six as well, so that's cool. Oh my god, the dice I have on D&D Beyond. Wow. That's so nice. 36. Nice. 36. Anybody who received healing, reduce your stacks of grief rot by one. One Eight. per heal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yep. yep. I pressed... <laughs> oh, I, no. I pressed damage. What was I at? I was you had like... 36, and you just took 36 away, so you're 60... 72. 72. There you go. I got okay. you boo. Got you boo. Nice. Um, so that was your action, Keelek. Um, five feet of movement. But you are next to a boy. And you have a bonus action. Five feet of movement? There's no point. Okay. There's no point in moving five feet. Uh, bonus action, what can I do? I can restore... No, I won't do that. That's me. That's your entire turn? That's mine. That's my turn. Um, I think the only pack that has not activated yet... Uh, is these guys, I mm, think. Drop boys. Yeah. So they're going to basically do... <laughs> so they're going to uh, split, basically. Wait, they're splitting? They're splitting the party? They're ruined. <laughs> they're not in a corridor, though. So. They've lost formation. There's no doors, Tom. We've broken them. <laughs> well, the thing is, is these things sense a presence that is Tiangong. They don't know that Tiangong isn't like a real, like full person. Fuck you! They're real to me. Well, they are a <laughs> magical hologram. <laughs> <friend. laughs> this whole time, you guys thought you this were. This whole thing on. was six cents. Yeah, yeah. No wait. Uh, I won't spoil it. That is at the end of the He's dead. No, Will. He's dead the whole time. He's dead. It's another one. Uh, All right, and I believe that at the end of Cool's turn, that's a brand new turn. Uh, six out of ten. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. We can do it. This will be turn six. Uh, I need somebody to roll a d4 for me, please. I'll do it. Do it. Three. Ooh. One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. Eight. There are so many over that direction now. Oh, yeah. That's quite a cluster of boys. Yeah. Just one d4 at the start of this turn? Just one pack. Why was it three last time? And Timber! Uh, <laughs> three down! Three down. Tree! A tree stuff. No. Sorry. They all yeah. exploded just... a tree and just emerged from that. that just... tree, my lord. Thank you. It's out of nowhere. Wedge it in. If a tree falls on them, do they all die? Does, if they, a tree falls in, on the map does and make doesn't, make, doesn't make a sound, yeah, do exactly. Do they take damage? Do they take damage? Uh, no, they don't. Absolutely, they don't take damage. Um, are you crazy? Uh, so, I'm just going to check the time here. We are, we are time sentry. Okay. Uh, you start, that's only going to be two boys, so you're going to take no damage because you're AC. All right. Um, 16, uh, reduced, so no damage for you. Oh, cool. All right. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, good one. Thanks, chat. <laughs> thanks, thanks, chat. I would like to, uh, let's see, I'd like to bonus action Misty Step. Yes. I would like to go. I make that noise, I'll do it. Get, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped around Five, your leg. 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, uh, e. Yes. In there? Yep. Now we lined up. Cool. Okay. Sentry just crunches through Lucius. <laughs> yeah. Well, she she teleports through Lucius. She'll and she's not running. She teleports. <laughs> like the start of she becomes board. mist. Orange. Uh, sorry, golden <laughs> mist, and then reforms uh, beside Ayla uh, on the eastern side of the battle. Nice. And then I'd like to sunbeam this line of undead just here. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's a five foot line, isn't it? Yeah. Sunbeam. So, yeah, you're basically going to catch of... this three here. Like this. Yeah, just free up some space. Yeah. For Ayla and Lucius. Mm-hmm. Okay. Five foot, yeah. Mm-hmm. So let me mm-hmm. just bring that up. I've gone off my character. Uh, whilst, whilst you do that, Tom Hazel, yeah. can you roll a d4 for me? As this yep. bright line yep. of beam of white light. Three, the north again. One, two, three, that's the north, yeah. 
as this great big beam of light uh, appears. Um, okay. I think they I know where the castle is. They fail safe throws, don't they? They do. So, so 68 just... radiant. Okay. Um, There's another pack emerges also, to the north, drawn by the great light. Four, five, six. Yep. Fuck a duck. They're dead as hell. 20. I'm sure. They're dead 25, in 25, 29 of Three of them. damage. Ayla, Lucius, and Sentry. Sentry, you're going to be making one con save. Mm -hmm. Ayla is going to be making two con saves. Lucius will be making three con saves. Okay, you'll get a plus three from me. Uh, yes, Lucius is still within range. Even more damned. Uh, he's up. You killed him. That's in that one, baby. I did. <laughs> Thank you for that. You gain a stack of Groove Rot. 61. Let's, yeah, oh. let's do this first. So, Lucius, you're making three. So, 31. For the first one. First one? Oh, great. Tough boy. Uh, 10 plus 3, 13. It's a failure. It's another stack grief rot. That must be 21 with the first one. Exactly. Uh, 16, 19. That is a success. So, you just gain one stack as these three things just explode into this dark, miasmic mist. Ugh, uh, what in my mouth? And you just feel <laughs> sad. All sad. Oh, where did my mouth? Uh, and then Ayla. Two. Uh, the first one was a 19. Yep, success. And the second is a natural 20. Success. Nice. So 34. Yep. Um, and the sunbeam is continuous. You can concentrate yeah. on it. So it's just we have this giant beam. Um, as a point, every round that it maintains, it will summon. It basically is as if it's this beacon drawing in these things. So. Nice. Just keep that going. Uh, anything else, Sentry? That was bonus action. Um, I've done my movement. The sunbeam is from an item, isn't it? Yep. You're not casting a spell. Yep, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, I'm all good. Thank you. You're all good. I will activate our pack. Oh, so many to choose from. Oh, Nova's all on her own, though. I feel Nova's lonely. <laughs> lonely. I just Nova. got back from. It was like a 15 hour, 24 hour journey. Pity me. Um, our airship so travel was days. Yeah. So. <laughs> What about our feelings? He travelled through time twice. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, he did. <laughs> Call this some teaching. <sighs> yeah. Attempted. Attempted. Attempted People went through uh, what felt like 48 hours <clears throat> in our lecture. Nova, rushing from the tree line, just six of these things descend around you um, as uh, you see your friends battling away. Uh, Lucius Vrien Eluin Ilinestu. Oh, uh, that is going to be one, two, three. Four, five times eight, 40 points of damage minus your AC. Um, I'm so happy to be here. Three, that barely keeps you alive, right? It's 27. Just, he gets back up from the healing and just immediately <laughs> being whipped and torn by these, these undead minions. And to scramble and quaff a greater healing potion. <gasps> Da, 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 44. <laughs> <laughs> Did not make a noise. Uh, 44 plus 4. Is that the right potion? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not a greater. <laughs> well, someone gave me the wrong one, so bad batch. Four, 44 plus 4 for a there greater. There you go, that's a greater. <laughs> Why have you got... I don't know. The superior, you... I believe, is the 8. Digger. Yeah, in my equipment big... inventory on my D&D Beyond, it's... A greater. Well, then that's the one you've got. I'll be a good boy about it. 14, Thank you. 14 points. 14 extra hit points. That does remove a stack of grief rot from it. It does. Nice. Uh, so that's bonus action, right? That is a bonus action. Drinking a potion yourself. A little Which house, house rule, or home house rule. House rule. Yes. Making that clear. Yes. Um, and then from there. Lots of custom rules. Hmm. <sighs> Everyone is in the way. There is a giant beam of light projecting from Sentry's chest to the side of you. Um, um, this is very difficult to not hit. Yes. 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 So I will use, using Ayla as a block, I'm going to hop the fence to Dowser again. Yeah. I mean, again, so, these things don't get tax opportunities. Yeah. But like, I'm assuming that. Now, is basically in this tent at this point. I'm just going to remove it. I just want to stay, back. like, can you move me towards the other tent? Yeah. So, like, here? So, I'm, like, away from everything equidistant. Okay. And then I'm going to look at that bloody dead root. Uh-huh. And smack him. 
with my eyes of disappointment. Okay. Um, I wish. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you can cut that if you like. I'm going to chromatic orb him at level nine. Okay. Ooh. Damn. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm guessing these guys are bad. Uh, yeah. I. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, they are when Mark doesn't forget to that one. Um, um, their things. I would like oh, to spend two points to seeking spell. Seeking that spell. Sure. Okay, that's better. Twenty-three. Uh twenty-three will hit. Yes. Ding dong. I should have remembered oh. that these things can do a thing when you sunbeamed, but I'm an idiot. Did anyone make Elden Ring jokes about Deathroot and Garank? No. I've not played it, so no. I couldn't if I wanted to. I'm disappointed to. in you, Thomas. Mainly because I didn't really follow that storyline. Oh. Give me what was going on with it. Points of mm. acid damage. Fifty-four points. Wowzers. That's From a chromatic orb, yes? Well. <laughs> so you watch as the orb splashes against the dead root parts of its plant-like form and some of its skulls melt away, leaving this cavity. And you can see almost like these tubers and blackened roots that pulse like hearts uh, within. Other brass instruments. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Not that kind of tuber, no, but <laughs> sure. Um, you can have that image in your heads if you like. <laughs> Surprisingly accurate. <laughs> no. Um, Dichromancy as well. Okay. So that's same target. Nine plus yes, our same target. It's so nine plus four, thirteen points of Dichromancy. That's the highest points. Dichromancy I can do. Did you did fifty-four points of damage with a fourth level chromatic orb. Ninth. Ninth. Oh, ninth level. Sorry, I went fucking Ugh. hardcore on that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. So the the orb kind of yeah, almost half of its body. Not yeah, not quite. A good chunk of this creature has been melted away. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's have a look at the hit points there. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, and you can see it kind of pulsing vibrantly. You see all the undead uh, within a certain range of it do seem to almost turn towards Lucius. Oh, great. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Cool. Uh, anything else, Lucius? Um, I've moved, I've bonus action quaffed, I've actioned. I'm good, thank you. That's me. Um, I'll make sure to take off my font of magic sorcery points. Because I'm a good boy. <laughs> what a good, good boy. This good boy needs a big old pee. <laughs> <your old way. laughs> soon, very soon. <laughs> I'm going to activate... Race you to the toilet. Um, <laughs> with their additional movement, as this pack gets closer... Oh, fuck. They Jesus. seem to speed up. <laughs> you may take this back. This last thing is making it worse! <laughs> Why? Because uh, I'm old. Right. <laughs> Bladder. Rushing directly <laughs> towards Lucius, a pack from the north, sped up by the empowering effect of the dead root, uh, will rush towards yep, I does Lucius. That. Yep. Um, we will, because people are so desperate for pee pee time, I need a wee. we will take a break here because uh, we've still got a good chunk of this combat to go. Um, so, we are going to take a quick break here. We're going to take a five minute break um, as we are in the, the last few turns of this desperate battle uh, of holding out against these undead hordes. There are so many! There's a lot of them. So yeah. many! Yeah, there's a lot of them. Shit! Uh, we'll be back in five. In fact, thank you very much for watching part one. We will see you in part two. See ya. Welcome back to part two of High Rollers Erois. We are still in this desperate holdout battle around the Guardian's outpost um, before heading deeper into Grove Bloom Valley to track down Kalara. The party are currently surrounded by vast amounts of skeletal minions. Uh, this undead horde seemingly without number. They know that they have to hold out for just a little bit longer. Um, and then escape will be possible. Um, but until then, they have many, many minions and this strange creature, the dead root, uh, that seems to be empowering the skeletal minions around it. Um, and that is where we pick back up with Ayla, who is going to be controlled by Tom. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <clears throat> I freaked out for a second there. So, um, at the start of Ayla's turn, uh, it is going to be five times eight, so 40 points of damage minus her AC. So 20. 
So, uh, so 20 points of damage. Uh, she's also raging, so that will be halved again to 10 points of damage. Nice. I can't adjust that. I've done Good, it. Thank you. I um, have. So she is currently uh, in a decent place, to be honest. Yeah, there's two, uh, three, well, two next to her that she would have to move five feet, but she can move between attacks as well, so. Hmm. Um, but Lucius is also very injured and very swarmed. Yeah. And I think Sentry, I think Ayla knows that Sentry can hold her own against this horde. Mm -hmm. So she might vault this uh, barricade uh, and again try to uh, try to help Lucius. Okay. Although, could she get could she get um, all the way around so that she's kind of behind the horde next to the death route? So she was here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, easily. So get right, right up here, in there. Here. Yeah, uh, right, right up in the middle of just everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I suppose does that does that like overflow damage? Mm -hmm. Does that only affect only the affects other minions? Can't can't hit another creature. Have to hit another minion. Your siren. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, she's gonna get to whacking. Does she whack the death root? It's a great question. I can't answer that. Only you have that power right now. Would Ayla whack Katie the death root? Text us and yes, be like, I do this. She, yeah. She'd whack it relentlessly. Biggest target, she'd go for it. She's going to whack the death root relentlessly. Okay. Nice. Um, so with advantage, 17 plus 15. That will hit. Um, D10 plus D6, boom. 4, 6, 10 plus 13, 23 damage. 23 points of damage. And may as well go relentless on the second one. 14 plus 15, 19, 29. Hits. And 7 plus 13, 20. 20 points of damage. And then deck save. Deck save through. Nope, it's failure. Um, that is 8, 9, 9 lightning damage plus her Four. con. Yeah. Plus 5 then. Plus 5. So 14. 14 lightning damage. So, targeting where Lucius had melted a huge chunk of this creature away with his um, ninth level chromatic orb, Ayla begins striking at those weak points, kind of almost trying to tear it up from this, this gaping wound that's been left. Um, and now you see the thing is heavily, heavily injured, um, kind of ripped into chunks, parts of its vines fallen away. Nice. Um, deadly, uh, very badly uh, hurt and in danger. But still standing. Not relentlessly, yes. recklessly. Um, I'm mean. still standing. But not quite, though, right? Well, that's it. End of that's, Ayla's turn. That's the end of the turn. The one of the pact. Still, still raging, eight. luckily. Pact of eight. Mm. Nice. I mean, I know that didn't actually get rid of any of the ones around Lucius, but. I don't want it to be supercharged, though. What the horde is coming in? Oh, they're surrounding Echo. From the north. Echo? Northern horde. Echo is Sentry's thing. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave for one week. But yes. you know you're an Echo fighter, aren't you? Yes. Uh, yeah, Echo that's fighter. what I think yeah. it was. Knight. Yeah. Uh, yes. Echo Knight. Tian, Tian Gong, uh, we, we refer to the sort of Echo. Like, the, in the, the game terms, it is called an Echo Knight, but for, in our universe, it is just a projection of Tian Gong's sort of Spirit. Yeah, so totally fine what I said, actually. <laughs> yeah, but it Maybe. sounded like you were referring to Sentry's Echo. No Vija. Uh, no, I haven't seen that in a yes. while. <laughs> <laughs> Six times eight is yep. 48. Cute. Minus your AC. 19. So. I never had the eight times table as a poster. No, they 29? Is the worst. 29, yeah. 29 points of damage. Um, you don't have any concentration spells up, do you? Dropped it. Nope. Dropped it. <clears throat> dropped it. Okay. Yes. Uh, 29, you also gain a stack of grief rot. Um, that'll be your first one, as you took more than 25 points of damage from these creatures. One. Okay. Uh, Tiangong would also technically take this damage because they <sighs> act on your turn. Yeah. So. Oh my. However, like they, the Tiangong did draw a large number of them around them, and then just is ripped apart uh, as these things. Could I manifest Tiangong again, and then still use my? Yes, I can because 
um, Unleash Incarnate as a special action. Yeah, it just doesn't cost anything, right? It's just yeah. a, you can just activate it. So guess what I'm gonna do? Yeah. Um, the death route is bigger than 15 away from me, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so Five, I can. 10, 15, yeah. 20, 25, I would say. Okay. Yeah, it's about there. Um, yeah, because I can only manifest Tiangong within 15 foot. Yeah. So maybe if you could put them within the two packs that are savaging me at the moment. Like here? Yeah. Yeah. As like a little breakwater. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, let's get going. I'm gonna... Thematically, I almost see this as almost like you and Tiangong being back to back, even yeah. though there's like minions in the way. Like you guys are taking on a pack of 12 of these things. Nice. So I'm thinking of attacking, green flame blading, extra attacking. Can't do that. Green Flame Blade takes your whole action because it's casting a spell. <laughs> but you can you can what? attack with your weapon normally. Yep. Yep. What? Yep. Green. So if oh okay, Remember, so if you, I can green... cast, I cannot do extra attack. No, you're casting a spell and attacking are different things, right? If you attack, that's when you get to use all your extra attacks. The attack action. Yeah. Casting a spell blade. is not attacking. Green Flame Blade um, gives you an attack, but not yes. an Green, attack. Yes, Green Flame Blade was better when you were old Nova because you didn't get many extra attacks, and so it was like Nova. quite good. Um, <laughs> I was right, trying to take a drink and I almost Echo, Echo Knight drank Nova. Your finger. <laughs> you are more, you are better off just attacking lots of things. I'm going to attack things. lots of things. Yeah, that's, you get three attacks rather than one attack that also maybe hits somebody else. So I'm also going to get Tiangong in on mm -hmm. the fun. So that's four. And and smash and stuff. Might do an Eldritch Smite as well, because that could be fun. Yeah. Well, you trigger that on hit, so. Yeah. Right. right. So first attack. Okay, first attack. Watch me miss all my attacks. There you go. <coughs> Above 17. Okie dokie. <laughs> Natural one? Yep. It's yeah. miss. It's a miss, yeah. That's a, it's a big old miss right there. Swing and a miss. <laughs> So being maybe overwhelmed, a bit panicked, uh, you swing wildly, but these things are more nimble than you're expecting. It kind of ducks under. <laughs> Can I unleash Incarnate on a miss? Well, that's, that's your foot. Unleash Incarnate is giving you another attack, right? Well, it's giving Tian Tiangong an attack. Yeah. I'm just checking if I have to attack, hit, successfully hit for. Ah, uh, that's a good point, yeah. Unleash Incarnate yeah. to. We've got yeah. two more attacks as well. Yeah. I know, but I'm just. I'm I'm already angry. That's I'm, fine. I'm already angry. Uh, okay. okay. Whenever you take the attack action, you can make one additional melee attack from the echo's position. Yeah. yeah. So, so right I... now you've got two more attacks as Nova, and then you can make one attack from Tiangong's position. I'm gonna make an attack from Tiangong's position on the one to the right of Tiangong. Okay. Uh, okay. Will you meant a hit with those? <laughs> Will a 17 hit? 17 still hits, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is a um, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 from Tiangong. Which one were you attacking? This one or this uh, one? The one on the right hand side. This one? The first one you were pointing to. This one? At, that one. Cool. Can you make a constitution saving throw for me, please? Uh, I should actually I should have checked how much damage it killed. That's just down. It was thirteen damage, so it didn't kill it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I took that away prematurely. Yeah. It's got four health left. Yes. Unless it was one of the ones that I did Eldritch Blast on. Uh, <laughs> Didn't I Eldritch Blast? You, you killed them, yeah, and then you killed them both. Yeah. Okay. Because you used I two did, bells. I used yeah, two each. Did, yeah. Shut up, Kim. Um, yeah, a new pack came in. Yeah. Uh, so that was Tiangong's attack. You got two more attacks. Better. Uh, 15 plus 13. That will hit. Is a hit. Mm -hmm. Seven. Pl uh, nine plus seven is 16. 17, 18 points of damage. Do you want to do that on the pre damaged one? So this one in the middle, the one that Tiangong wounded? No, because there's 17 hit points, so... Yeah, but you, it goes through to the next one as well. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're going to kill one, regardless of what you do. I'll do one on Nova, the one, one, the, any one that's on Nova. This yeah. one? Wait, how much damage did you roll? 18. 18? Okay. So this one now has but three not left. left. to kill two, yeah. Yep. Uh, can you make a con saving throw for me, please? Five. Uh, you gain another a stack of grief rot. Okay. Um, one more attack. Can I unleash Incarnate again? No. I believe you can only do it once per turn, I believe. Um, once per attack action. When you make the attack action, you can make one additional. Yeah. So, so you've, you've made the attack action. So the difference is when you use Action Surge to do attack action again, you, you can then technically unleash Incarnate again, but you, you can't. Can I Eldritch Smite? Uh, on a hit, yes, you can Eldritch Smite on a hit. Okay, I will announce that for this last one. Okay. 
Uh, nine plus thirteen. That's gonna hit. It's yeah. gonna hit, and then it's a. Uh, sorry, all my stats are all over the place. Uh, nine, right. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 points of damage. I won't kill this one as it currently stands. Um, but I will. Eldritch Smite, as I mentioned. Spend one of your spell slots. Yeah. Um. So sorry. What was Eldritch? What's the? Oh, I can't find it. I think it's something like. 2d8, and then you get an extra d8 for... I think it's 4d8 extra damage, I think. Mm, yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Plans two. Sorry, I'm panicking a little bit. Right. So for now, let's just roll 4d8 for now, and we can check it later. 48. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's 2d8 and then plus one for each one. level above first. Two, okay, here we go. Should do 48. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's basically going to kill two of them because there's one hit point left and then it would transfer over. Um, so we'll kill this banner one and then you get one more you can kill off. Which one? Uh, the one sandwiched between us. Yep. And then four points will transfer to another one. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Uh, so one of the ones around you has three hit points. The other two are at max HP. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, all done, Nova Vija. Yeah, do I have to do some con saves? Because I. You just killed another one? Yep, you killed another two, so two more con saves. Nat one! <laughs> another stack of grief oh. rot. 15. So one more stack of grief rot. So I think you're up to three or four now, I think? Three. Three. Perfect. Alrighty. Shit. So, uh, at the end of Nova Vija's turn. So that's a what? Half your speed? I'm going right? to say yes. Are you at, do you have 30 feet normally of movement? Yes. Yeah, it's half then. Okay. Pack is just going to activate and reposition. One of what? those has rot. two HP. You're a rot. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so that's that pack. And then the dead root is going to activate. No, it's not, though. It is, no, though. No, it fucking isn't. It is, though. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm afraid it is. Count Sorry, convinced him. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting about the dead root's boost. I've forgotten that thing every single time. Right. Uh, Lucius, unfortunately, you are within 15 feet of its reach. So, with Ayla, Quill, and Lucius, that's going to be an attack against each one of you. Lucius. Shadow Martyr. Tiangong is going to teleport to Lucius and take the hit. Okay. So just, it goes? Mm. Okay. Hell yeah. Zoop. All right. Wait, All right, Lucius. Wait, wait, is it is it takes the hit as in does the hit have to? I mean, it the hit's going to do more than one point of damage. Yeah. But did it hit though? Uh, it definitely hit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, there's a point. Does it does it have to hit Tian Gong? That's very true. What's Tian Gong's AC? Oh. Uh, twenty. Doesn't hit Tian Gong. Tian Gong oh. deflects it. So, is that how it works? I don't know. Echo has twenty AC. Yep, we know that. <laughs> We've established that. <laughs> yeah, I'm in England. Uh, uh, let ago. me let me read it. All right. Shadow Martyr. So, yeah, Shadow Martyr. You can make your echo throw itself in front of an attack directed at another creature that you can see. Um, you cannot see Lucius. The tents are currently blocked. Uh, before the attack roll is made, you can use your reaction to teleport the echo to an unoccupied space within five feet. No, there is one. Yeah. Um, the attack roll that triggered the reaction is instead made against the echo. So yes, it does have to beat the echo. Oh. To see. I can oh. kind of see him through the tent. No, I you're on like you, your screen. miniature can, but like if I'm gonna do wargaming rules, you're I cannot this draw a line wargaming. between. This is D &D. Well, I'm the DM, and I'm saying yeah, you can't see it um, because your that <laughs> tent is bigger than you are in the miniature size. So unfortunately, you. <laughs> cannot see Lucius. 19 to hit Lucius. Yes. That's cool though. So yeah, yeah. It, you could block range. an attack and then not have it hit you. You know I've done that it's before, very right? Cool. But I think it was treated in the Lucius, same way as like my 16 poison kill. damage, I'm afraid, and a con saving throw. He's dead now. Hey, he's dead Even if you're unconscious, just, I still need to save. He's, he's dead as hell. I'm not unconscious. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll turn it back. He's fine. Uh, you Keep will be at the start of your turn. That is a... Oh yeah. Um, 17. 17 is not enough. You are poisoned, the poisoned condition, and you gain another stack of grief rot. What are you at now? Uh, Quill. Grief rot 3. 17? Yeah. Oh, well. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa, we, whoa. Oh, are we shielding? <laughs> You're going to shield? Okay. <laughs> Remember that because that affects your AC for taking damage at the start of your turn as well now. Yeah, I know, yeah. All right. Oh uh, and then against Ayla is, nope, going to be a miss. So these three lashing vines uh, all fail to strike anything. Okay. Cool. Uh, I can tell that sound is just rattling around Rhi's brain. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, it is. <laughs> Keelek! Like. Bouncing. My turn. Yep, 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 boy. So three times eight, 16, 24. 24 minus 14, minus 18. Well, you get plus five to your AC, don't forget, because of shit. Oh, is it plus, is it plus five? Yeah. Why do I have it as plus four in my head? So 19. So Six. five, so you, yeah, 20, yeah. Why am I dead? Five points of damage, are they? I don't think you healed yourself properly when you did that whole thing. Yeah. Should have been on 74. I definitely did. Well, put yourself on 74. And then minus everything. And then take five away. Weird. 69, nice. <laughs> you should be on 69 hit points. Six number. Nice. Um, <laughs> and it is your turn. And I currently have, do I, uh, sorry, do I gain a death? <laughs> and how many <laughs> stacks of death root do you have, sorry? I now have okay. 10 feet of movement, so four stacks. So okay. four points of poison damage. Oh. Okay. Um, so I've got 10 feet of movement. What mm -hmm. can I do with that? You are also surrounded, and the dead root can make opportunity attacks with its lashing vines. Okay. Um, can I. Oh, is Ayla 10 feet away from me? Uh, Ayla is within, yeah, 10 feet. Oh, so I can basically move five feet then if I want to go that direction. Give me a sec, I need to circle something real quick. Nice. Okay. Can you tell us what you're thinking so that the chat knows? No. All right. <laughs> just come on this adventure together. He's placing the circle over the center of the map. Huh. It's like high school geometry again. No, it's not great. Practice in that. It's not great. No? Um, unless, unless. JK, JK, unless. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. All right, Tom, it's very nice you're making these choices. <laughs> Both the chat and I would like to know what you're doing. Yeah, but they are like on well, the edge on the of their seat. I'm sure they are. I wants to be a millionaire. Is that your do, final do, 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 do. <laughs> Is that your final turn? Oh, I saw the American version of that when I was out in Malaysia, and it's the worst. It's just the worst? It's just the worst. They ramp that thing up even more. Okay. Bitches. Right, wow. are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cast Expeditious Retreat. Oh. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action. Which allows you to take the dash action. Allows me to take the dash action. Yes. I want to move. I want to basically cycle around this this uh, big leafy mass boy. Yes. Uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20. So you basically go 5. Uh, over Ayla, and yep. then I'm more in the center of this horde. Mm -hmm. And I am going to... Channel Divinity, Arcane Abjuration, which affects Celestials, Elementals, Phase Fiends, and wait, no. And Undead. Undead? Nope. No? I what think you're thinking undead? of Turn Undead. Yeah. Not yeah. Arcane Abjuration, blah, 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 blah. You're thinking of just standard Turn Undead. Didn't read to Do I not have Turn Undead? Yes, you do. Where is it then? I don't know, but you definitely have it. I would like to cast Turn Undead. <laughs> that one? I've got the stuff that I was confused about. I have yeah. Destroy Undead, yeah. but not... Yeah, well, that Destroy Undead is it's the same the thing. Upgrade it's the upgraded yeah. version of it. Doing that! Okay. Uh, and it's a 30-foot radius, which is why I was circling a lot. Uh-huh. Um, That's quite a lot. So... Big old chunk. It's, uh... This won't affect the dead root. That's fine. Um, How many can you hit? So I hit that one. That just one. just count them up for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. 12, 12 of them. 12. So if I max, that'd be 120. So here's what happens. As you conjure this great power, uh, you, you pull forth the divine light of Hesper and Siaska. Um, you glow, you burst with radiance, and you've seen this before, the dead roots flowers open up and all of that divine energy and light is pulled into it as it takes what the energies that would have once destroyed the minions is instead absorbed into the dead root, uh, which does destroy it. It completely oh, it crumbles from the inside. Oh, little health though. No, it didn't. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, it didn't. It destroys this, but only two of the minions are destroyed. Um, oh man, it had loads of health then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you watch as it just pulls in all of this holy light, sucking it away from Quill until only a brief amount of it is enough to just, so just wipe out. It just away. Probably say, like, probably grab these two. All right. Still good. Then. But unfortunately, yes, the divine magic of Hesper is pulled into this creature uh, as it absorbs it away. Nice. I'll take it. 
Yeah. I'm all right with that. Mm. the dead root. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you're still on super low health, and I am the healer. Well, we don't need to pick that up. Um, <laughs> Why spoil a good time? Cool. No, that's that's yeah. both my turns. Um, and yeah, now I'm concentrating on expedocious, retrocious. Expedocious, <laughs> alerocious. <laughs> um, yeah, I think pretty much all of these packs are active now. I think? Yeah, I think they have. I'm just going to leave them. Um, because, yeah, that's the end Pretty of your sure, turn, Quill. Yeah. So that is the end of the round, which takes us to... More packs. Turn eight? I believe it is turn eight. And on eight. turn eight... Okay. We're doing it. Getting there. Chris Trot, roll a d4 for me. Doing it, doing By all means. It. Oh, one. one. <laughs> That'll one. be the north. <laughs> Ow. Whilst Quiz whilst Quiz Quas, uh, whilst Quiz Quas is rolling that, uh, let's have Tom roll a d4 for me. Uh, d4. Oh, do it. Oh, another one's appearing. Four. What is dictating the amount? Also, has anyone got a small light? <laughs> I'm emitting a 30 foot oh, light. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little light. Uh, You're something. emitting. I can create yeah. one for oh, you. Oh no, that's not enough. That's fine. Right. Enough. No, so, I mean like I'm. I'm bring down a thing. I'm on, on the sunbeam. No thanks. Uh, a moat of brilliant light shines offer. in your hand. Do light, and it's a you foot have dancing radius lights. and a dim light. I'm dancing so. with death right now. The sunlight. Kim, roll a d4 for me. I wonder if it's just there's space for them to arrive. Four. <laughs> Could be no, because they've spawned in the same areas before. Oh, you mean the amount of packs available? Yeah. Or, yeah. I don't know. Um, Fuck. But yeah, you you brought some in with your sunbeam, didn't you? What can, what if what if I set fire to one of the trees? Then, it's not a small light. Then that's yeah. a. I they could, would stay away from the tree, and the storm chaser would just shoot at the a tree. burning, yeah. defenseless yeah. tree. Rhiannon, hello. One d four for me, please. Another one. Okay. Uh, this is it's based on the round number. How oh. I mean? A two. A two. A two. Also, it's just escalating. Oh, it's oh. a. One of those things. Certain uh, certain rounds, uh, they some things. I will say to summon the to call in fire support from the storm chaser, uh, it cannot be more than twenty foot of bright light. It has to be bright light. Wow. It can't be more than twenty feet. Um, it has to be a singular point. So like like a torch or a light spell cast on a single five foot space that gives off enough light for it to be seen from the airship. What about create a bonfire? Uh, if that is five feet and it creates twenty foot of bright light, then yes. Does it say it creates light? It says it makes bonfire. Then it doesn't work. It doesn't create it That's creates fire. Stupid. It creates fire, it's magical fire, it doesn't give off light. Stupid. Yeah. Um and that is at the start of that's the top of the round. Fire doesn't give off light. Century, mm. right? I'm, yeah, magic fire doesn't technically have to give that's off light. Stupid. Same way that yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's magic fire. It's interesting. Uh, oh, D&D, right, your game is stupid. Sentry. Cool. You have one, two, three, four, five. 40 points of damage minus your AC, so 21, so 19 points of damage. Nice. My turn. Okay. God, you have so much uh, health left. Are you maintaining Sunbeam? I will maintain it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you roll a d4 for me, please? To be honest, I'm, I'm thinking about starting the barrage. You're Sunbeaming, three. I'm Sunbeaming. Let's just take out big. I just, I just want to take out big chunks in one go. Give a scroll of sunbeam to someone else. Yeah, let's start just, sunbeaming. We can do. We can link arms and just spin round. Oh my god! Yeah, That'd be the coolest that shit. That would be the coolest shit. You got a sunbeam. Let's Another pack see. emerges to the north. Continue, Sentry. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, it's your turn, go. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna wheel around. Yeah, uh, you wheel. You point where you want point. I'm point where I want point. There is the tent in the way, though. Yes. I'm trying to see if I can misty step over towards Nova and Tiangong, if I can get there. I mean, yeah, 30 feet. Does that to count my uh, grief rot movement? Um, five feet. No, it wouldn't. No, teleport cool. movement is different to movement speed. It only reduces your movement speed. Nice. I can get, like, right up next to Nova. It's like... Get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can get here, I think. Okay, sure. Right, That's a good blast. Yeah, I trust you. And I'm gonna yeah, blast a diagonal beam through this group so behind Tiangong. We're basically gonna hit one, two. And that group behind that hurt. Let's say three, four, five. Let's say six of them. Yeah. Blast. All right. Nice. Um, just roll the damage. I'm pretty sure you're gonna kill them. 
but there's always a chance you can roll really low. 18, They're 21, dead as well again. 24, 29 again. I think my last one was 29 as well. Nice. nice. Not 29. Nice. It's a weed number. Please not <laughs> tell many I've had today. <laughs> the beam just carves through, demolishing six of them. Nice. Uh, tearing them apart. Nice. Um, nice. Anything else on your turn, Sentry? Um, done a bonus action, action movement. I'm good here. I'm just going to yeah, protect Nova and Tiangong from this angle. An attack is coming. Bring it! <laughs> the tubers. <laughs> You're never going to... That's another one that's just going to live on in TikToks. <laughs> Drums in the uh, a pack activates and charges towards Sentry. Lucius, at the start of your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six oh, <laughs> times eight. S a lot. You are down, I believe. Um, and another stack of grief rot, please. That's four now. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And thus ends my go. And thus ends Lucius's turn, unfortunately. Yeah, he's, okay. Uh, this pack is going to swarm around Quill. Oh, uh, don't. Falcaries. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We've been a sassy bunch today. Mm. <coughs> Stop Ayla's turn. <laughs> God. Uh, so everything within 10 here. Oh my so god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times eight, 88 points of damage. <laughs> Minus 20 is 68, halved because she is raging for 34. God, so Ayla is the only one who could like actually take Jesus. all of that. So you watch as Ayla just being surrounded by this swirling thing. Quill, it doesn't look good for you, like, because you're going to be in a very similar position. But Ayla, just every time she gets cut, is just rah, swinging around, completely yeah. I'm, I'm right lost next in to her Ayla, fury. It's, uh, it's Ayla's turn. So similar for me. Like, does, does she have... She needs to kill all of them. Yep. Just kill. Well, the thing is, is if Ayla crits, the crit will pass through pretty much everything yeah. around her because she'll crit like minimum 40 plus. Just crit. Yeah. I mean, he's attacking recklessly. He's trying. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to see if she's got like. She has a line on her hammer. She can right, hit everything yeah. in a line, but it's with the changes I've made, I think that hitting and trying to get like big damage and passing through multiple of them is probably more. Yeah. But you, know, you could definitely try the line and try and catch a bunch of them, but. Um, With allies positioned the way they are, it's actually it's not even a really clean line at this point. Does she get crits on 19s? No. That's uh, Nova does when she's got Hexblade Curse on. <laughs> well, I feel like I need to eliminate the stuff around me and Lucius. Yeah, I think like Ayla, like Ayla. the idea of Ayla being in this pack, just swinging the hammer wildly and recklessly Bones. fits. Yeah, yeah just like yeah. smashing recklessly. everything around it. Recklessly indeed. Uh, 17 plus 15. Hits. Uh, D10, D6. 7 plus 13, so 20. Right. So, so do you have a particular... You want one like um, for the middle? Yeah, I think aiming for the middle more than anything. The ones that are lashing out at both okay. Lucius and Quill. So that's four, so that goes uh, 20, so three points goes on to another one. Yep. Yep. Uh, and another Reckless. Oh... I was hoping still gonna 20. hit. Yeah, it will still hit. 18, uh, sorry, 8 plus. Yep. Um, 15. Uh, and then bam. Oh, that's shit. Uh, 5, 14 damage. Plus the 3 from before will kill one. Nice. And do you want like one of these middle ones? Yep. Can I have, actually, that's going to be con saves from Lucius, uh, sorry, from Quill and Ayla, and then from Lucius and Quill and Ayla? I fail, right? Um, you can still make con saves while you're unconscious, so. Resisted body. 16. Uh, it's a pass. Um, so Ayla has two. That's right? another one from you as well, Lucius. Actually, no, just one from you and then oh. two, two from Quill and Ayla. 13 on one of them. From Ayla. For Ayla. Oh my god. That's that's 13 it. on the next one. All right, that's two grief rots for Ayla. Someone can keep track of that for me. All right, down. Thank you. T -Y. And, then, and then Quill. Two Quill. Quill saves. Two. Yep. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, nine. And 11. Another two stacks. I'm at zero again. Yep. Uh... <laughs> and then Storm. 
And then the storm, so yeah, dex they fail. doesn't matter. Is it 4d6? Uh, sure. I don't it know. Is, yeah. <laughs> I'm relying on you. 2, 8, 9, 12, plus 5, five 17. 17. So that will kill anyone. Um, the Lucius one, yeah. This one? Yeah. Lucius and Ayla. Another <laughs> oh, yeah, saves, please. Course. Yeah, yeah, I pass. Yep, alright. No no stacks there. Yeah, 20 there as well. Um and that's Ayla's turn. Ayla's turn does. Um mm, She'll nudge forward. Nudge forward so she's again in between Lucius and Quill, uh holding off a bigger swarm of three. I say holding off, they're still hitting everything around them. Like a windmill of vines. But really fast. A fast windmill. <laughs> A buzzsaw of vines. <laughs> <laughs> and they're making the same noise too. Charging from the north. Made little noise? tiny three pack. So loud. I'm gonna leave those three packs to the south and the east. Uh, I'm gonna activate those and then there's one little pack over here I need to activate. Nova Vija, at the start of your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times eight. 64. 64 minus your AC, which I think is 19. 45. 45. There you go. Went to slashing damage. <laughs> Oof. Your turn. This is turn eight, turn nine next, and then turn 10. Oh, God, this is brutal. Mm. Okay, it's fun, though, eh? Yeah, hey? It's, really it's fun. so grueling, though. It's... I'd love to like play this in a, like, in a game. The thing is, is like, is this, yeah, very XCOM. It's like, like, it's like Lord of Commission. the Rings, two towers on the GameCube, where you're trying to stop the Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep Siege. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's impossible, yeah. but yeah. you have to just try and hold it on. So fun. Yeah, it's one of those things where like a minute in D&D is a surprisingly yeah. long time yeah. like, when you're dealing with like, I mean, this is with the rules where it's like, these guys, I'm not making attack rolls for them or anything like. Yeah, if one NPC says, oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes, it's like, oh, okay, four sessions of combat yeah. then. <laughs> That's why, like, for this one, I was like, one session, I think we can do, like, a minute, like, hold out, basically. Um, and it's really, like, again, it's, like, how, yeah, like, how long can you survive and, like, how desperate, uh, how many resources do you spend doing it and stuff, so right? Cool. We have been burning hard lessons. Right. Hard. Neva. I'm going to do the same pretty much as the Neva. last So just turn. swiping around with your sword. Yeah, so Tiangong is going to be manifested again. At the start of your turn, Tiangong, yeah, exactly. So you'll just manifest them. Should I just leave them in the same place? Yeah. Yeah. All right, first attack. Uh, 18 to hit. Hits, yep. Um, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 points of damage. Not Is enough. there one that was had four points of damage? or did There they was, get... actually, yeah, there was yeah. one. So we can kill that one off. OK. Um, and we'll just have one go on to the one. That is a con save for you, please. 20. 20. Did you have any stacks of grief rot, by the way? Two. Yeah, it's two poison three. damage as well. Sorry. Three. Three extra poison damage you took at the start of your turn then. Just keep make sure we got a track of that. All right, so, so that's, attack. that's the first attack. One. We've got two more on you, and then one if you're going to unleash on Karnet and Karnet as well. 18 plus it's 13. Hit. Yeah. Um, nine, 13, 16. With the one damage carried over, that's enough. Which, do you have a particular preference? Um, so, I, no, yeah, yeah just thin them out. Yep. Uh, it's another con save for you and Sentry that time. Nice. You get a plus three for 20. Me. All right, yep, nice. you're both fine. <laughs> go, 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 go. 18. 18, you're fine. Woo. All right, so that was second attack, third attack. Uh, 21. Hits. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 points of damage. Still there with one yeah, HP, unfortunately. One HP. Uh, and do you want to unleash Incarnate from Tiangong's position? Yes. Should we say that that damage was like on this one in the middle? So if you yeah. want to have this Tiangong attack, same one? Uh, same attack roll again. Yeah. Unless you're rolling um, really low, you're going to hit. And then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it will kill the one that was on one, but then it will only be 14 damage, so one's on three HP left. Cool. And then another con save, please, for you and Sentry. Not 20. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, not one. Another stack, another stack <laughs> of grief rock, please. The duality. <laughs> Damn. 
Dang it. Uh, and then you done? So hmm. I've attacked, I've bonus actioned. Uh, moving wise, I guess, could I just move so I could see Ayla and Quill? Uh, so you can move. Just scooch a little bit, yeah. Here? Yes. Yeah, back to back it. with cool. Tiangong. Yep, 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 yep. And Sentry as well. Yep. You've got like a little wedge, so a little, little line yeah. being held. Right, done. Hold the line. Yes. yes. Just gonna have to be. Just to close the number oh, oh no! When is my turn? Ah, uh, oh, we'll find out in a minute. Before you though, because I'm going to take so much damage on my turn. Jelly. <laughs> wow. Oh, look who's here! <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. writhing mass. A writhing mass of plants emerges, and again you see it kind of empowering all of the undead around it. Quill. Yeah. That's going to be. Do we have to save all the Titans? So be, oh, as in return all the Titans. Why? I'm just saying this is pretty rough. Oh, don't worry about Kalara. Uh, just skedaddle. Just get home. Get the... Nine times eight. 72. 72 minus your AC. 72 minus 14. Now you can activate shield in response to taking this damage. I did say that it was like uh, it counts as being hit by an attack. 70, so 72 minus 14. So you get would another minus five, basically. Would be, yeah, 48. That's fine. That's 72 fine. minus 14, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So it's two, so 58. 58. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got a free 10. <laughs> free 10 there, but I was like, oh, that doesn't sound right. 48. I mean... <laughs> do you want to want to activate that shield? It's an extra five. Is he, do, is he taking a turn? Uh, he now. took his whole turn just moving the dead okay. route, yeah. Yeah, he I'm can't, okay. he's very slow. I'm fine. All right. Oh, he's All right. Well, your turn. It's my turn. Oh, what's, how many death route stacks do you have? Um, do you have six? <laughs> oh, yes, I do. <laughs> six points of poison damage, please. I have one HP. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I completely forgot about the <laughs> death route damage. So did I until just now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm holding on. I am miserable. You're really sad. <laughs> but in my sadness, I don't care about spell slots, so I'm just going to gently wave my hand again. <laughs> <laughs> this time, uh, it's a ninth level. Oh my God. <laughs> Mask your wounds. Mask your wounds. <laughs> there you go. So again, every ally uh, is going to get... Three, when did you last do that? Four, five, six, seven, D8. When did I last do that? Like two turns ago. Two rounds ago. Two turns ago, maybe. Um, this could happen again. Sorry, wait. You don't have the nine or the eight. Oh. Have the face. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. What? Hang on. What? <laughs> You're smiling at me for Like, thought? how radiant is a heel? That's a great question. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's a great question, isn't it? If you ask it though. I mean, <laughs> I wave my hand. Yeah? <laughs> I'm casting the spell. Yeah? You. How much don't... healing? How much healing? 48, 58, 68. Let's roll it and Seven, find out. 78 of healing. Let's roll it. It's a big it. spell, isn't it? Ooh. What if I added all temporary hit points to the minions? <laughs> oh my god. But if you use Final Fantasy rules, healing kills the undead. That's a shame this isn't Final Fantasy, isn't it? It is a shame this isn't Tom, Final how much healing? <laughs> Play that again. Uh, 36 again. 36. So every ally. Yep. Everyone goes 36 hit points. <laughs> uh, and anybody who's healed loses point. one point. stack oh, yeah. of grief rot. Yes, lose Got five feet of movement. Uh, I don't oh, think I you can it. move. You will literally bend in. Yep. I like. I lost concentration on expeditious retreat as well. Yep. Uh, that's. Um, that's. Yeah. That's me. You dumb? Yeah. No worthy bonus actions. Oh, what's he doing? This little gremlin crouch. Yeah, like, um... The thing is, if like if he if he did absorb the heal, yeah, yeah, it would have sucked. But thirty six to like six people. It's pretty good. It's a lot of damage. It's preventing me from perma dying. Yes, thank you. No, I mean if he absorbed all of that healing as as oh, a see. negative thing. I don't know how it works. I don't know how death <laughs> it works. But. That would have been cool. Or I would have just healed him up. There's a lot of factors in play. A lot. I'm just filling time. <laughs> <laughs> I need that time filled as I move all of my tiny little plastics. There are oh so many my boys God. moving. Fuck. That's 
<laughs> all that garbage. Oh, Sentry, you and me, we're going down. Ooh, let's go, girl. Oh, so many. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where Tiangong oh, and I don't even know where our minis are. Yeah, we need to paint our bases, don't we? <laughs> where are you, we? I know where you are. Um, so, uh, with that, I could do gravity again. The vast amounts of these creatures... 29 of them, yeah. ...have now swarmed into the centre. Like, just, you are being overwhelmed by numbers. Whether it's the the various spell effects that have conjured more, these dead roots that seem to be bringing great swarms with them, uh, you are heavily, heavily outnumbered at this point. Uh, that is the end of the turn, because they basically... They, Wait, the, was nothing happening there? Were you just, you were so just describing the, our misery there? Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I was cool. Just, I was just... Giving a, a little bit of fl- a narrative yeah, flair to the yeah. scenario. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just a reminder, by the way. This is <laughs> the start of turn nine. Uh-huh. We need to say one more turn or two more? It's a great question. We're going to get to the end of turn ten. I reckon. I reckon. We begin oh, okay. with Sentry. Hello. Hello, Dark. Sentry. And the start of your turn before you even think about what you're doing. Oh, God, yeah. One, Here two, we go. three, four, five, <laughs> six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times eight. <laughs> oh my god. Ninety-six minus your AC. Oh my god. Twenty-one. Seventy-eight? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. God, I <laughs> Holy shit. Oh boy, it's close. Um Did you get the heal as well? I got the heal, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the heal probably the heal yeah. saved me. I would be down if it wasn't for that. Oh my I, god. I will just a uh, very gentle reminder, remember that like melee damage weapon, like melee damage will carry over. So if you get a big smite off, it will potentially carry through. You potentially if you write sources before. <laughs> yeah, there's also if you want to call down. Mine you can also light. you can call down, yeah, if you've got uh, the light spell or a lit torch. I don't know if you, if you guys have torches just your inventory. Trying to flick a light off. Like, <laughs> like the scene in the rock where you're Nicolas Cage on your knees, like nah! <laughs> just point in like, do it on me! Mark Humes. Yes. Well, it's not your turn, but sure. Just figuring this out. Yeah, I love answering questions. If I was to create four dancing lights, yes, right, which emit dim light, Ooh. ten feet of dim light, ten feet of dim light. If I was to put them all together, Ooh. that's how light works, right? You just Ooh, it's four tempting, times isn't it? Dim is bright, mm-hmm. right? Can you make like a circle out of them? forty of dim? I'd say forty of dim light can be four, four dim dancing yeah, lights. Four ten combined. feet dim lights become I would say twenty uh, ten feet of, of dim light. But I'd say it's enough. I would say that four dancing lights positioned, you I'd say it's enough. Well you also have to survive a turn. Of course, yeah. This is yeah. you know, wishful thinking. Wishful still. thinking. Yeah. And also the storm chaser, that light has to con- uh, has to exist until the end of the turn, until the end of the round. I believe. And then the storm chaser will cantrip be. is not concentration. Uh, cantrips can absolutely be concentration. <laughs> Yeah. Overruled. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Objection. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Uh, but a lit torch is not a spell. Mm. How could a lit torch emit? It's magic. Magic bonfire. I don't. I don't make the rules. The rules say that. So the a magic bonfire. torch. No, can not emit... magic torch. This is a normal torch. But a how can a normal? Torch. How can a mundane torch emit twenty foot of light? Yeah, because it says in the game rules emits twenty feet of bright light. But the create a bonfire, bonfire spell doesn't... does not say it creates any you light. Kim, okay, I'm I'm on your side a hundred percent with this, and yeah. I'm going to remind you of travel via plant. <laughs> <laughs> I should have stayed in Malaysia. <laughs> sure. Listen, you want to uh, you want to send an email to Jeremy Crawford and the I Wizard of the Coast will. team. Oh, you're more than so welcome to. Strongly worded. Travel Twenty-four hours how for this torch, bullshit. Not how can a torch emit bright light? But the tree's not connected bright. to the ground. <laughs> Two flights. <laughs> Rhiannon. Oh, uh, the, we I need think, to we need to see you guys survive this. I so. don't think you have sunbeam, by the way, because of the damage you just took. You would have to make concentration. Oh, against and, uh, against, well, half oh, yeah, of 75, so 30-something. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gone. So we'll say that some beam is gone. I'm furious. The thing is, I can, make, I can hit two of them at most. I'm doing it right well, now. Well, yes, but the damage will pass over. So every, every 17 HP will kill one. Yeah. So if you dealt 50 points of damage, that's potentially, what, three? Three and a bit? Mm. That smite is going to be pretty huge. Yeah. Very sure. poggers. Because you have Starbreaker in Harvest yeah. as well, don't you? Fuck I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's All right. Roll. <laughs> so with a great big swing of this this huge spiraling energy lance. Oh, fuck me. It's 15. 15's not going to hit. 
Have you got driven to purpose? I got that, yeah. Do you want to? Is two? Is it one d four? One d four. Three, 18. 18's a hit. So sensing that you have to, like your friends in danger, the the nature of the sentinel, the sentry sparks you to action, and the blow lands. Right. Let's do a level four. So that's sixty-eight. Ooh, two, plus 2d12, three, plus your normal two, bonuses. Five, six. Plus like a bunch of d4s. Uh, 11, 13, I'm gonna get 18, my calculator out. Yeah, you're gonna need it. 25, 29, 35. Two plus, plus your mods, seven, plus the d4s. 42. I don't roll d4s. I think I only need oh. d4s from the mark. Oh, that's right, yeah. So 42. 42 total for the first one. Divided by 17 is like 2.5. So, so one and a half is dead. Two and a half are dead. With eight with eight HP done to another one. Uh, which two, Sentry, do you want to basically take them from the back so they don't hit your buds? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go from the back forwards. Okay. But... Yeah, and I'll say that this one next to Sentry. Uh, it's also two con saves when you get a chance, Sentry. Oh, yeah. We'll do those now. 18 for the first Success. one. Success. 11 plus 22. For Success. One. You're fine. No more grief rot. All right. Second attack. 16 plus 13. It's a hit. Rock and roll. Let's do a D. Let's do three, level three divine smites. So that's okay. 5 D8 plus the two. <laughs> one's, already, one's already taken eight. So we'll basically add eight to this one. When you uh, emailed Gemma Crawls, mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy Crawford, um, Jesse Crawford. Can you, uh, Je yeah, Jezza, old Jez. Old Jez. Can you uh, mention smite, being able to use smite twice in one turn? Mm. That's bullshit. 36. <laughs> 40. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Make a list now. Thanks. List of bullshit. 36 plus what? <laughs> Seven? Seven, 43. Three. Uh, I'm going to add the extra eight that you did last time for 51. That could be our next TikTok. What? Our list of bullshit. That's Open three of them exactly. Cool. Uh, so <laughs> do you want to make like, concern? Like, like, it's it's not we torch here. Just, 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 just go. Um, so these ones aren't going to hit your friends. Do you want to start hitting these ones? Yeah, let's go for it, yeah. Yeah. So these ones pose a risk to you and... The uh, ones closest to me and Nova are going. Yeah. <laughs> Just blasted that one into a tree. So two more, two more con saves, please, Sentry. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, Sentry, Starbreaker in its enlarged kind of energy form, she sweeps it to the side, and it's just cleaving through these things. Past both of them, sixteen and right. seventeen without That's mods. Five destroyed in one turn. Nice. Just with two attacks. Nice. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Fuck. Sentry, anything else on your turn? Let's see how we're looking. We've thinned that lot out. Mm -hmm. Can't really. Wedge myself in there, can I? With a scent of root, that's pretty spicy. Um, I can try. Can I misty step the bonus action, my last one? Can I get in this little uh, gap between the wall next to Quill? <laughs> yes, you can. Just about what here? Yeah, just so I can use my um, deflection. My deflection and my yep. auras can can help those yep. guys out in the middle yeah, as absolutely. well. Absolutely, hell yeah. Uh, the deflection will be a huge impact because it gives disadvantage. It means that like they'll basically do half damage. Nice. Uh, cool. Oh. Um, all right. Uh, Sentry finished. I'm all good, thank you. Then the last. Um, in fact, I'm actually just going to activate this group that was behind, and we're just going to press in. And we're going to advance. What exactly is going to happen when the guardians turn up? That's a great question. Not like, a lot. Two Lucius. of them are going to turn up with like daggers. They'll turn around and roll back in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Grandpa. See one. I'll go around this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> oh my God. ten. So 80 minus your AC. Fortunately, I had 36 HP. You did. Oh, Still alive, but God. just like battling every time you claw your way up, breath from no one, Quill's yeah. heel. No. Yeah, that's what I mean. And then oh, dragged back yeah, down again. See, yes. Um, unfortunately. So <laughs> just <laughs> Not being overwhelmed, Quill's magic stopping you from being like ripped apart as you were unconscious, but you're just constantly like, by the time you manage to scramble to consciousness and, and plan your next move, just you're overwhelmed by the sheer force around you. Just when you're like saying, oh, finally, Sparking unconsciousness. Thanks, Quill. Oh. <laughs> Sparking? <laughs> <laughs> <That was>, uh... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Just when you're like, the, the unconsciousness will stop me from feeling pain from all of these things clawing at me, Jesus. I bring you back again. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened three times now. Um, 
you see it as Lucius goes down, or like you only see his hand because everything else is surrounded by <laughs> skeletons tearing him to pieces. Just four little tiny sparks of dancing light. Sparks. <laughs> Amazing moment. He's, he's gonna make me cry again. <laughs> he's about to make me cry again, Thomas Hazel. Uh, Lucius dies. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Ayla's turn. Uh, Ayla's turn. 12 times 8, 96. <laughs> minus 20, 76. Heart, 35, 38. 38. 38 points of damage. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait. You're not gonna believe this. What? Ayla is downed. <gasps> That's you. That's you. Wait. That's yeah. you. <laughs> oh my god. I oh. believe this. <laughs> she did that. I was going to say, I'm, yes, I'm tracking her hit points. This like... would have been the first time ever, by the way. Oh, she oh, would have been, been so mad. <laughs> 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 she would have been so mad. If you're watching, it's so all right. Katie, sorry. If you're watching, it's all right. It's all right. You're not going to believe this. Ayla's fine. Ayla's, well, she's half health. Oh. She's under she's under half health, right now. a rarity. Um, but it is her turn. I don't believe she has any stacks of grief rot. Um, so one. one. So she takes one point of poison. <laughs> wow. Uh, and Ooh, she is mark yep, that. just surrounded by things. Uh, she is. I think it's just that all reckless, reckless rage. Sure. Uh, Nineteen plus close. Nineteen hits. Um, D10, D6, 9, 11, plus 13, 24 damage. 24 damage, so one goes down and then eight points to another. Any particular preference? One like near you? Yeah. One near Lucius? Any, any. Ayla's swinging so recklessly Concept, and so ragedly. Well. And Ayla. You get a plus three for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ayla gets 16 plus 11 plus She's three, fine. I think, as well. I got, like, six you plus know, you know two the drill. plus three. One more stack. There's no max, there at, is no maximum. I'm at, well, I'm at negative speed. Yeah, so you can't move. Can I move backwards for nope. us now? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you are at negative speed, you're basically restrained at this point. Okay. Okay. You're just <laughs> cramped in by body. Check this out. I'm going okay. back in time. This miasma weighing you down, like unable to barely move your limbs. I'm just sitting down. Um, so. Second attack from Ayla is a six plus 15. You're going to reckless or? Yes. Nine. All right. So it still hits. So it still hits. No crits though, god damn. I know. Is that a six or nine? Is that a six or a nine? I don't actually know on this dice. Oh god, yeah, what is that? <laughs> um Well it's at least fourteen. Just whether or not that you is. Just a six roll or another D ten. <laughs> just oh, roll a one. different one. That's the same. Three. <laughs> uh, so seventeen. So enough sure. to kill one. A kill another, kill one? Yeah. Uh, again, do you want me to just pick? Yeah. Is it another concentration uh, for you me? and Ayla? Yep. I get 15. Nope. Cool. Uh, Ayla gets uh, 7 A million? billion. Yep. Uh, 22. Okay. 25. Uh, um, and then lightning. Uh, 46. I think this is going to kill because this one's already injured. 8, uh, 12, sorry, 13, uh, 14. Just Ayla on that one. Bam. Two plus 11 plus three. Yep. 16. 16. Uh, it's fine. It's a pass. Wow. Just. Um, I, there's really no packs for me to activate, so I'm just going to go straight oh, to Nova Vija. Shame. Uh, <laughs> Nova Vija. First, well, I mean, Tiango is going to go, but that's fine. We're going to figure that out. The You're going to go out. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times eight. 64. Minus your AC. Nice. Nice. <laughs> 45. And then how many stacks of Grief Rot do you have? Three? Three. You gain another one, but you take three poison damage. That's point oh. Ayla would have gained at least uh, one more. So she's on three. Okay. Did Tiangong get attacked as well? Yeah, Tiangong is gone. I'm, I don't what's going to remove them, because I'm assuming you're going to summon them back, but... So I'm having things. Okay, well I'll remove them then. I might manifest them next to the death route. Uh, 15 feet 15 is not feet. gonna get you close enough. Five, 10, 15. Get you next to Ayla and Quill, but not enough. 
but it can also move. They can also oh, okay. move yeah, with no, move. and there's no action. Okay. So you could move you move, move but could you move them um, to the my left hand side? So 15. they're kind of like here. Uh, they can five, move 30 feet. Yeah, that's it. Moving through other creatures is difficult terrain. Right. 5, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, they can still get Okay. There. They can get there. And then. So teleporting, away, sort of teleporting, and then moving between Quill and these undead minions, Tiangon kind of skirts their way towards this death root creature. I want to teleport to Tiangon. Swap. You places. swap places. Oh boy! Welcome to the party. Hey, it's hell here. All right. And then I'm gonna start smacking. Okay. I'm gonna regret this because I got 25 hit points. So. Uh... Don't mind that. Who left their phone on? It's my laptop. I get messages through my so laptop. Loud. It was. I don't know how to turn Woo. it off. <laughs> Nina is asking me if I want fish and chips. <laughs> Hi, Nina. Um, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Right. So you're attacking the death root. Yes. Okay. The dead root. Sorry. Uh, it's a natural one. Mm. It's a miss. Mm. First attack. Yeah. Second attack. It's a good reward after this grueling battle. Mm. Chippy chips. Twenty-four. That will hit. Chippy chips. Fifteen. Chippy chips. Chippy Fifteen chips. points of damage. Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very high rollers in joke. Um. Um, <laughs> my Eldritch Smite is a special, so I could just Eldritch Smite. You can on activate that one. Yeah, I mean, if have, you've got like two spell slots, or three spell slots one. left. One left, yeah. So you can use your last one to do it here if you want. 14 plus 13 is 27 to hit. It's a hit. Um, math just fell out of my head. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 points of Tiangong damage. And then you want an Eldritch Might. Mm -hmm. So you get 48. <laughs> Where did that go? It's, oh my god, I rolled two eights and then one dice two. just. It's also 48, uh, Kim. Oh. So got it. Yeah, roll it. Just roll it twice. I got a two and then. Oh. <laughs> 8, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19. Another 19 points. The attacks carve into this thing's plant, fleshy outer exterior, carve through some of the bones, but this is a dense, large creature, um, seemingly un unfazed by the blows that you have inflicted upon it. That me. Is that your full turn? That me. All right. Um, I've done I'm not going to activate any of the undead, so the dead roots go. Oh no. Nobody has any spells active, do they? Things like uh, buffs or anything, do they? No. Uh, in that case, this thing is literally just going to attack. Um, it doesn't really have... Yeah, I mean, it's got within range. Uh, so Nova, Quill, Ayla against Nova. That's a natural 20. Shadow Mother. Oh my god. Yep, uh, it's going to hit Tiango, like, uh, and then... Oh. Yeah, that'll definitely hit Tiangong, but... Ayla. Yeah. 19, so 28 against Ayla. Yep. And that is going to be... Five, <clears throat> uh, I said that in the most undramatic way ever. 14 Shadamata. poison damage. <laughs> Shadamata. Yeah. Uh, 14 poison damage to Ayla. She doesn't get to resist that. Um, con save for Ayla, please. Oh, God, you won't believe this. 16. Uh, 16 is not enough. She is poisoned and gains another stack of uh, thingy. Poison means disadvantage on attack rolls. And then Quill, Ugh. nine hit you. Jesus. <laughs> um, wow. That doesn't hit me. That does not hit you. Uh, oh. That is that thing's go. But I wish it did. <laughs> Quill. Oh, I'm wheezing. <laughs> My turn, is it? Uh, so that's going to be one, two, oh, three, it? four, five. Six, seven times seven. eight. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, oh that, that one's be... 15 feet away. This one? Yeah. Five, ten. Yeah, it's ten. It's ten. Seven times eight. Sorry, mate. Um, seven times eight, 40, 56 minus AC. 56, yeah. 56 minus 14. Oh, you might be right. 42. <laughs> <laughs> if I shielded, 
37, then I am exactly down <laughs> if I shield. Uh, however, do you want to use your reaction? Yeah. Protection. How does that work in... In, uh, in this, I told, uh, the last one, I didn't reiterate it because it hasn't come up yet. It, this, if you give disadvantage on attack rolls against the creature um, to any of these things, they deal half damage. So against one of these attacks, Sentry, against one of these minions, you basically intercept it and like grab it away. So one of them would only do four. So that's you would actually yeah. be if you shield, you'll be on three hit points, uh, four hit points. Sorry. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, it I mean, yeah, it will keep you up. Keeps me alive. Thing. So I'm down to three. So Sentry sort of like body tackles one of them, like yanking it away from you, just as it kind of barely manages to scratch you. Um, nice. Um, Let's go. And I still have negative speed. Yeah, you can't move. Uh, oh, we did forget about the poison damage. Uh, You're down. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about the shield. Uh, you, can, you can have that first level spell slot back. No, I, I, I think I would. You would if, still if this like, is like a writhing mass of things just, just like, constantly uh, clawing. Just trying to you. desperately protect yourself. Just through. I, I mean, would it's a first shield. level spell. It's not. Yeah. Bad, is it? So, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, the, the overwhelming that? miasma, this grief rot, just sets in, like and you are eight poison damage. Your mind yeah. uh, so pulls you down. down. Sickness. That's our healer down. It's fine. Yeah, and I'm down. Yeah, uh, and I think that's my turn. Cool. You're down, and that's your turn. Yeah. That is at the very end. Um, the only thing I can do is just stamp on his body. Turn ten. These guys. They will just basically, any remaining packs will just sort of pile in. Yeah. And just sort of... The perfect swarm. What time is it now? Turn 10? It is. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, Quill, with your high perception, you would have been the only one to see anything happening. Uh, but you Behind my shields and mass of planty boys. Right. Tearing at my throat and balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this more for flavour because I don't think that they're actually going to matter into the battle nice itself. Specific. That's such an unnecessary detail. <laughs> Just where they were getting. Sentry. Um. <laughs> so before you do anything, mate, it I'm afraid. Oh yeah. We're going to calculate some damage here. So you're here, yeah. Ah. Five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times eight. Help me out here. 64. No. 48. 48, yeah. 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 Uh, mine's Tracy. 21. 21. 48 minus 21. 20 27. 27. 27. Exactly. I'm down. But I'm dying Sentinel. I'm back on one. Mm -hmm. He's on one. Oh. So, like, as Sentry's almost collapsed and the weight of these things pile on her, you just see Sentry throw these bodies off of her, the Matrix blazing to life, replenishing her strength once more. So two down, one on one HP. You've got... 24. 25. Ayla's on about 70, I think. Ayla's on 70-something, yeah. I... God, this is so close. I'm going to pump all my last remaining Leon Hands points into Quill. 55 healing for Quill. Okay. Quill. <laughs> 55 healing to Quill. <laughs> He's going to save us all, right? All right, Quill. It's like, right, Quill. Out of my way! <laughs> like, you're the closest one to yeah. me. I, yeah, I mean, I am in touch range of you, yeah. to be yep. fair. I can, I, can, I can touch you and I can heal you. Feel right. the touch. So you feel this strength, the Matrix, this reserve of Sentry bestows her last hopes into Quill. Uh, as you feel your eyes awaken, Quill. <gasps> you left yourself on one. Yeah. That's what heroes do. I'm but a big I'm just fan. your squire. We need to right. be a world with a Sentry, harmony. anything else? <laughs> Yeah, literally aren't any because she just got murdered. Because she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Sentry? Um, she's just speeding up the process. Oh, the quills are, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay in. I'm just gonna. I'm I mean, just it's gonna very difficult them. for you to move, but yeah. yes. So you're just gonna protect, try protect, and protect, protect Quill, Quill as best you can. Yeah. Like she protect. Yeah. All right. Have, have any, do you have any potions? Hang on. Lucius, uh, you are down. Yes. Yes. So okay. you are just gonna take one immediate death saving throw. Uh, you take an immediate failure, as these. All this swarming damage. There's no crits. It's not going to be two death saving throws. These aren't normal melee attacks, but you do take a source of damage, so it's one immediate failure, and then you have to roll a death saving throw at the start of your turn. Is there enough bone on Stormcaller's chain to create a spark that is bright light in a 20-foot radius? 
bone co- what are you talking about? <laughs> if the skeleton scratching at my Stormcaller's chain yeah. could create a little spark. Yeah. No. Just like, <laughs> no. Ten. Ten, this is a success. So you've got one failure, one success. Oh, yeah. Wait, howdy. Uh, but you would technically gain another stack, but it's irrelevant. But yeah, you do gain another stack as well because you would have taken a lot of damage there. All griefs. Are potions bonus actions? Uh, okay. To yourself, to feed to another, it's an action. Mm-hmm. Can I do a potion? Yes, you can, yeah. She I'll, just, I'll let you do that while I carry on with Thank other you. stuff. Uh, old Ayla. Five, one, two. <laughs> oh, it's stuck oh, to your nail. To nail. Oh, that's weird. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> twelve. So again, 96, ninety-six minus twenty, seventy-six. So it's the same. It's basically what do we say? Seventy-six halved is thirty-eight. Thirty-eight, yeah. Yeah, thirty-eight. She's she's doing all right. She's That's quarter now, right? That's like so she is currently at thirty-two hit points. 32, yeah. Um, she does have. Four, three stacks of uh, grief rot. She gains another one. That's going to Does that come poison. out? Now? Yeah, four points of damage. So she's at twenty-eight. Uh, but it's Ayla's turn. Twenty-eight. Also, she does have this thing where Ayla can't physically die as long as she can make con saves, but they get harder every round. So if she's at zero, she just keeps making con saves, and then as long as she can keep succeeding, she just acts as if she's oh. up. Undying rage, I think it's called, or something. Mm, I healed for six. <laughs> six hit points is six hit points. Yeah. yeah. Um, is that Gonzo? That's Gonzo. That was, well, that was Sentry's one. Yeah. Um, All right. Ayla. There is a nice line in front of her, to be honest. Um, yes. The, the the throw hammer thing, is it a five foot line? Yes. Five, five foot line, so you'd hit one, two, three, four, five. I'd say five of them. That way. Uh, if you did Towards it you. this way. Oh, you want to do it this way? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd say six. It's not terrible. No, it's pretty good. Um, uh, it does 46 lightning damage to everybody in the line. The last one also gets hit by her hammer. Okay. Uh, so it's, I think it's, it's a high risk that you might not do enough damage. Yeah, but I think it is still... Unless you get that big old sweet nat 20. <laughs> Imagine on the last turn. Imagine Ayla just like fucking taking out like three of them at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I put it to committee. What would Ayla do? <laughs> there. Line. Yeah. Well, that's what I'd, I'd want to see. Well, the nat 20, reckless attack. Yes, I want to see. But that. a line or a swing. Swing. Double swing. I, I, I'm not going to say. Big old swing. Double swingers. All right, she's swinging. All right. Um, okay, recklessly, of course. <gasps> natural 20. Oh! There's no downside to her using it because disadvantage doesn't really matter in this fight. So, no, so that's thing. 40 base. It's 4d10 plus her normal bonuses. Uh, 4d10? 4d10 plus, I think, 14. So 40, 54 plus 4d10. Okay. Plus a d6. 2d6, in fact. There you go, there's some. 10. So 64. 5. 69. 6. 75. 9. 84 plus 6 brings it to 90 and another d6, please. 2. 92. Ayla! 92. Divided by 17. Is that with her five rage and a half. bonus as well? Uh, yes, I've added that in. Five. That's five of them immediately yeah. go down. So That's a whole they have group. to be within reach. But luckily, she's doing a whirlwind spin move yep. while moving. Two. She can yeah. use a move. She can't move. She can move in between attacks. Three. Four. Oh, yes. That one's roughly there. And then I think the only other one. I think that's actually all the ones she can hit, but she'll kill every single one around her. Um, she killed four, but unfortunately there wasn't enough for her to kill. Okay, that. no, that's so still. That's so good. Cool. Where do you want her to step into? Um. So there's like all this bunch next to Lucius. You also now have all this big bunch around Sentry and Quill. Yeah, and no, there's got a Death Root and Minions, or you got more back here. There is the a north. big clump to the north, but it's not. They're not surrounding anything. Whereas Lucius is currently surrounded. So just take a step here. Yeah. Yeah. And um, try again. Try again. Get another twenty. Come on, bowling ball, Agla. Oh, close. Seventeen plus. It's gonna hit. Uh, so a D10 and a D6. 7 plus 13, 20 again. 20, that's going to kill one. Um, 
and then yeah, one of them down to whatever. Um, and this is the last turn. I'm not going to worry about the stacks of grief. For it. I'm not going to make five Constitution saving throws. It's going to slow down the game. Um, okay. Tom's going to do it anyway. Um, and then lightning blast. Oh my gosh. Uh, yep. Forty six <laughs> plus five. <laughs> she rolled like garbage. Um, six, five, eleven, uh, twelve. Fourteen. <laughs> it was plus two. I was struggling with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. End of Ayla's turn. Again, I'm not going to bother activating anything. Uh, maybe just sort of shuffle these guys to get a few more in range. Oh, great. Uh, Nova Vija. One, two, three, four, five times eight. 40 points minus Tracy. So, I would like to activate Tomb of Lewis just on the first okay. hit. Yep. So that is... Um, Sorry, I had it up a second ago. That's right. Should um, say in the tooltip. Tomb, 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 tomb. Tomb, 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 I mean, the main thing we know is you're not going to go down, but you 50. can't do anything for the rest of this turn. 50 hit points. Yeah. So how much did you say? 40. Minus 40. your AC, so... Uh, so 40 minus 19. 19 so 20, um, something like 1. So the, the tomb is still up, yeah. basically. But, so. And you're incapacitated anyway. Yeah. You're just sort of like... Eh. Yeah. Stuck in ice. So that's what's happening to me. So that's your turn. Um, and then Three. how many stacks did you have, sorry? Four. Four, so another four poison damage. Um, take that off you, because I don't think it makes sense that the tomb would take that. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to break the rules, because I can. I mean, I guess because it makes sense, because I'm in the, the tomb, yeah. and yeah. I'm poisoned. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so after Nova's go, the dead root uh, will basically lash out at Ayla twice because it's just seen Ayla decimate these the minions and then what? what is this turn 10 this is the last mm -hmm. 10 yeah this did Ayla have a go yeah, yeah. she just thought when she Am just crit not after you died <laughs> you, you, we rolled did same, same we, we've done yeah, your yeah we did yeah, yeah yeah I know it's a lot uh the dead root is going to attack Ayla twice and it's just seen a big block of ice go around Nova um it will attack Will I protect Will please all right I'll do that now then uh 18 uh, with this much. Yeah. Damn, a spicy <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Oh, nine plus nine. Uh, in that case, I will shield it again. Okay. <laughs> Bounces off. And then two attacks towards Ayla. Gonna hit, gonna hit twice. Oh, no. Hey. Ayla might actually go down here. Uh, nine poison damage. And... Ooh. Uh, 13, 22 poison damage. She's not gonna go down. Guys, close. But she is close. Very close. Six hit points left. Closest she's been in a long um, time. And then that's really the dead roots go. Uh, Keelik add Kalar. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five, forty. Minus your AC. Uh, so thirty-six, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Um, okay. Uh, well, the last one to act. Can I, now that I'm up, can I see? So, do you want to make a perception check for me, actually? We'll take your, well, I just want to see how well you roll, but I'll take it as if you got a 10 as the base. 19. 19 total? Yeah. You see in the tree line, probably to the west, you begin to see movement as if the trees themselves ever so slightly are shifting and you see that the what you're act the movement you're seeing is almost like a cloak covering something. Plants, you begin to see metal and stone, and you begin to see the reflection of light as something begins to take place. They're still moving, almost as if fine getting into position. And then you see more kind of scattered to the north and the east and the south as clumps of maybe five or six of these metal covered or like plant covered metallic creatures are taking uh, careful position. Okay, so there's a decent amount of them. That's good. Um, you would estimate maybe 20 in number. Yeah, so like five minions yeah. worth on each yeah. side. Yeah, four packs of five minions on each side, yeah. I mean, or they could be knights clad in cloaks of plants and, and moss. Or um, they could. What'd you think, Will? Blast them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am... Um, I need to heal Lucius. Uh, and you, you've got, like, no health I've either. got no... Well, that's fine. 
Is it? True. Yeah, it's fine. Lucius has been down, then up, then down, then up, then down, then up this entire time. What's one more? Uh, so this time, since we're all in a slightly better situation... Oh, we're not, though! Ayla's on super low health, too! Me too. Nova's on super low health, too! I have to... I have to mask... Oh, you should mask your wounds at level now. I, sh I need to mask your wounds again. I was going to use heal on you. Um, oh, give, give, give you a ton of health, but, like, again, everyone is on mega low, so I'm going to have to I'm on a block of ice, so... Century was told. One minute. It's oh, like, you're, it's nearly there. It's a few seconds. Her Casio watch is beeping. <laughs> We're doing cool. Time. Um, chips. We've got ten minutes. Or oh, chippy time. Yep. Chippy chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, D eight to everybody plus six. Uh, that's another mask of your wounds. I got wow. it. Thirty plus six again. Oh that's my six. god. Thirty six. Three of the and you same get to reduce the stack of uh, of grief wrong. Um. Cool. Uh, and uh, as Quills healing light washes all over you the packs of these skeletal minions begin just surging forward again preparing to strike you once more the ones to the south looming forward another pack in the distance and then an incredibly loud bright explosion detonates some distance away perhaps a few miles but loud and big enough that even you can hear it and see it through the thick tangled mass of the trees of the valley the earth beneath your feet almost shudders as if in pain, and the trees and plants nearby spasm, and creak and groan. The dead root melts, turning to mulch, decomposing at a highly rapid rate, oh. becoming nothing more than a pile of wet, moistened ground and several scattered skulls and bones. The undead around you seem to almost arch their backs and turn in, in panicked anger, seemingly distracted. Um, and as you take advantage of this, I'm assuming many of you would strike out with weapons to take advantage of this situation, you also see from the tree lines around you dozens of arrows and magical projectiles, beams of force and magical energy fire all at once in great volleys and you hear Second volley! Second, third volley! And it just crossfire all around yeah. you. Um, you. You hear a, a thing of champions duck uh, as a voice calls out around you. With your combined efforts, the remaining undead in this outpost are decimated. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Emerging from the shadows. Finally. Their bodies covered in moss and mud and hastily made camouflaged cloaks. A force of about 20 guardians reveal themselves. One of them, you can just see hints of pale pink and lavender hidden beneath the muck that they've smeared upon themselves and these loose camouflaged materials that they've covered themselves in. Uh, she seems to almost have a pair of wheels almost built into her feet um, and she effortlessly kind of like clambers over and glides uh, towards you, um, motioning to cover. We, we don't have much time, champions. We've secured an exit route, and our second outpost, um, uh, Hotch, Commander Hotshot, has, has provided the distraction. We need to leave now. Um, come. Um, and they all begin to amass, uh, ready to lead you away. Um. Zoom in. Yeah, I'm right, going. going. Yeah, we yeah I mean, everyone's up, right? Uh, they, with the grief rot, you do feel that as the, the that kind of explosion, it begins to ebb away ever so slowly. It takes several minutes for the effects yeah. to wear off. Um, okay. But several of the guardians are basically those of you who can't walk like cool. They'll pick and carry you as fast as they can uh, until you feel that that sorrow and that despair kind of leave you and your strength return to your limbs. Um, the leading guardian, the one with the wheels and the pink and lavender, is called Gearshift. Um, nice. And Gearshift, along with Harper, the guardian that communicated with you, uh, leads a small force. Another guardian called Wayfinder uh, casts Pass Without a Trace on all of you. Oh. Um, and with the guardian's help, they will basically help you make a very slow and stealthy journey uh, to their second outpost. But that is where we're going to have to leave things today and pick up next week. Oh boy! Holy shit! Oh, I was toy lord. That was squeaky bum. Yeah. It's then, you, then you know that's when it's a good encounter. Yeah. Like when you just really just happen to make perfectly it through. Perfectly balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not perfectly fish. balanced, I mean, but we had a load of people that were close to death again. Ayla was on what? Fifteen? Six. Six. Six hit points. Century had what? Seven, seven left. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, the thing is, is like sure, the heel. like Ayla probably would have gone down to the poison the next turn, but the combat was over. I'm not going to track that. Like those kind of stacking effects, as far as I'm concerned, when the combat's over, you're like safe from any of immediate. It will drain away. Yeah. Yeah, it will drain away. Um, um, but we will desperately need healing, and I used so many spell slots. Same. All my spell slots yeah. are gone. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much everything that, that, for me is that done. Was, that used everything we had. Yeah. That and was... also, we got to meet a guardian with healies. Mm. Uh, yeah, they're kind of like little roller skates more than heelys. Hell yeah. yeah. They're like little inline skates no, built into their the feet. quads are bare. Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> you, you can take that up with our wonderful community who are the ones who provided those some of those guardians. Yeah. Uh, well, so I'm right into gear, gear, shift and Way, gear Shift and Waylander are from the community spreadsheet. Oh, so, awesome. awesome. There's going to be a few more. That. We'll meet a few more because there's hey. quite a few guardians here. So Wonderful. Uh, Damn, cool. we did it. That is it. Well done. Very good job. That was obviously a very intense encounter. And again, I did make Ooh. some adjustments. Stuff is always being tested. Like you're always tweaking and fiddling with stuff. Yeah. I, I yeah. felt like that. Very, very cool. Reiteration was a really solid. Yeah, it was just like cha it was taking away some of the stuff that was slowing it down in some ways, and also stuff that wasn't really working. Like when they died, they left difficult terrain. I was like, I'm not going to be able to track how much. Mm. I'd rather have this kind of stacking effect that, like, oh god, okay, we can't die near these things. Like <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Unfortunately, at this point in the combat, you didn't really have a lot of choice. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, negative speed. Like yeah. there was nowhere. Yeah, and also it's like. Characters like Sentry and Ayla could shrug it off a lot easier than like yeah. our squishy boys. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, very good, very well done. Awesome. Nice. Really Read fun. some donuts. Oh no, we're gonna. And that's the end of the episode. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. We love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We love bye. You. bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.